headband Bluetooth thing. Uh, it's good, but it's you know it's not. I don't want to sweat on it too much. I mean, is isn't it, that what a headband does? But then again, you no, can't it's, watch it's, it. It's for sleeping. Ah. It's, that's what it, it's not for. Well, it is for working out, but um, I'm, I sweat a lot. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't everybody? I doubt it. Okay. I don't know people's sweat levels. What? What? <laughs> I can't even look that up. How much do people sweat? What do I, what I, do I mean, look up for can, that? If you can look up a human brain, I think you, how much it weighs, I think you can look up the average sweat of people. I'm going to look up exactly what you just said. Average sweat of <laughs> a person. dot, 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 people. <laughs> Don't put ellipses, nope. people. It's already there. Well, there's a wider range of how much people sweat in, in working out. Okay. I didn't say that. During exercise in temperature and temperate conditions, the average person will lose about 1.5 to 2 liters of fluid through sweat. Uh, Add high humidity and heat to the mix and your rate of fluid loss can double. There you go. But that's, that's, so it's between 1.5 and 4. That says nothing. It says that there's two numbers it's between. <laughs> okay, how much is 1.5 liters of sweat? Means by so close to one case. <laughs> I just completely ignored you. Uh, waiting is the best part. Woo, what's up, Alex? JCJ. Uh, Jet Meme. Uh, Buggy. Well, I like how Blade just came in with the combo breaker of yo's. Uh, I'm ready for another episode of Hanging On. The Edge of Sanity. Oh, this is going to be a rough one. Happy to be here. We in here. Happy to be back. What's up, dummy? Yo, it's my B-Day tomorrow. Come Stop. On, Stop. Tom- <laughs> well, tomorrow is fine. Yeah, you know what? You're you're not with us. Sagittarius boys up in this mug. <laughs> is, it, is it the fifth? I don't know. I'm not going to look it up. I'm just going to assume. Uh, good start. What's up, Alfonso? Yeah, my birthday was four days ago. <laughs> How much brain Chilling. sweat are you producing? <laughs> well, can't, uh, can't, I don't think the brain can sweat. I don't think brains have the glands know, for sweating. I know brains don't have any nerves, so you don't feel any pain. All right, can brain sweat? Sure, let's look it up. Maybe it's going to be like condensation or something. Sure. Oh, man, I don't want to look this What's up. What's up, Sasa? I haven't seen you in a while. No. Nothing? Um, no, it's just like is sweating good for the brain? What what causes sweat when in the brain? What happens when you sweat? What is the brain? Uh, uh, the, the, no sweating of the brain. What's up, Matt? Uh let's see what doodles we can get out today. So DA, you up for <laughs> oh no, not the question. You up for We Resort? Uh, it's, it looks fun. I'll say that. But I don't have a Wii, so sorry. Uh, uh hopefully no doodles, because this will be a, uh, fairly, it's, it's gonna be a weird one, because it's, how do you analyze anime and media? Like, there's one set thing, one set path. This would be better if he, if it was called, how do I do it? Yeah. What, what, what do I do to analyze media? Because you can't just go, hey, how do you do it? Or maybe it is. How do you do it? Uh, are you guys going to do a dark side feel month? Eh. I mean, we just pepper in feel as we feel like. Uh, so, so, not so much a month as you'll probably see more dark side feel content than what we were doing before. Uh, let's hope we hit 1K today. Uh, I just want the emotes. Uh, we waiting for them emotes. They are coming. Uh, is your brain putting in the work? Hope you enjoy King's Game, DA. Don't tell me you're going to start watching it. I, I never said that. Okay. Well, actually, I did say that. Why are you doing that? Uh, because you said it was trash. It's trash! And I only got up to a certain point. So. Yeah, like three episodes in. Yep, sure did. Because I'm like, what am I doing here? <laughs> what am I, I don't need to watch this. Okay, so it's not how do you. It's how to analyze anime and fiction in general. Okay. Let's just... my, wait a second. Why my phone was so slow? I need to read the description. Yep. Might need a restart. Oh, wow, it looks like I'm late. Uh, we put up the time. You know, it is what it is. Are you three uh, minutes late? We ain't did nothing yet. <laughs> Waka Phil got to be safe like pocket aces. <laughs> <laughs> whenever we need it, whenever we're bored, we ain't got nothing. I feel. Uh, oh, nope. It's just um, 
His description is, oh, we putting on our big boy pants today. Patreon, Twitter. Uh, uh, hashtag anime, hashtag manga, hashtag analysis. Uh, Gordian, I haven't played... I played a little bit of uh, Shimagami 5, but then it crashed, so I was like, well, I guess that's just it for right now. Yeah, I'm waiting to get a little bit of time to play it. Oh, yeah, it definitely sounds pretentious. What's up, Piku? Uh, what do you think of DNF Duel? That sounds familiar. While you look that up, uh, as soon as he's done looking that up, we're going to start the video. Uh. It might be one of those things. Oh, oh, uh, the, um, the dungeon crawler, uh, fighting game. It looks interesting. It looks like, uh, another, what are we looking for? Uh, Grand Blue game. Buggy, you already said sup. Shut up. <laughs> Everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. <laughs> That's kind of for anime wins. No anime wins. No, none this year. None ever. We're done. I mean, we might ever. Cool. Never. Cool. Never again, y'all. You. Have you ever found yourself watching? I am transported into another world, and now I just sort of exist and live. And thought to yourself, huh? I am having fun, but I wonder if there is more to this than just virtual taxes. So, have you ever thought to turn your brain on mm -hmm. and think a little deeper about things? Uh, things don't need to be... It's, it's a very weird balancing act that you need to, to walk on between turning your brain off and thinking too far into it. Oh, yeah. The people are just like, uh, thing, uh, certain character in My Hero... On the spine of one of them, he looks nervous. So that indicates blood. I mean, it turned out to be true. What part? Did you not read the new chapter? No, no, I know that part. Yeah. No, they they read that and then they went back to the spine and went, but that's how he looks when he does his power too much. It could be seen as that and it also yes, could it, be it, seen as it was intentional. I will, I will, you, you, I will abstain from that one. I unbelievable because Coda looks the same. That's and, fine. Uh, He's uh, also a traitor. <laughs> Ojiro, uh I look is going down. He's looking down too. Also a traitor. Cool piece of sh cool. <laughs> Have you ever looked at Shonen Adventure this time with robots and said, "Damn, I wish I could form some sort of analysis on this"? Then do. Are you serious? Is it so hard to look at things critically and just go, this is what I believe to be within the series? Yeah, this, you don't need to. Why are you thinking about, I wish I could analyze Instead it, of just doing it. Talk about it and the analysis will come. So long as you don't, don't just go, yeah, this is stupid. Whatever you say, giving descriptors and, and, and elaboration, that's analysis. What is this ocean have... vid? It is um how to analyze anime and fiction in general. Everybody's a traitor. Every single person. <laughs> Point to them. They're a traitor. No, we haven't seen ReZero season two yet. We're gonna get to it. I just it's been so long since season one. I would have to rewatch that and, and season two. Yes, that's, that's a bit of an issue. But um, I want to because there's a lot of ReZero stuff out there. Do you have way too much time? If you answered yes to all of those, let me ask you one final question. Do you want me, man of the ocean, to teach you the perfect, definitive way to analyze anime, manga, everything? Oh, okay. I hope he's about no, no. to say it's a joke. Um, it, it, that is a joke. The, the fact that how to... I, I, it, my thing is, it's not funny. Um, I think Ocean is a very funny individual. I think he would lean better if he went into the dry humor. I, I think he would lean better if he wasn't trying to be comedic at all and just made it a straight lace video. Because his 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 joking always comes off as um kind of try hard. He's just like, Yeah, hey, I'm making a joke, you guys. Waka waka. Nudge for 15 pumps. <laughs> He always feels <laughs> like slightly uncomfortable making a joke. Mm -hmm. It's so odd. I think he would much uh, work way better like that. And what? When was this uploaded? Go ahead. You can answer. I'll look it up. Um, or, no, no, I've already got it up. 
It was a year ago, May, uh, March 2020. So this was right around the time when things were getting started. You guys know what things were. Um, oh, crap. What was I about to say? That's why I wanted to. Oh, <laughs> piss. That's why I wanted to. Um, what were you saying right before this? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, no. It was something important. Uh, oh, shit, it's funny. Yeah, that's what it was. Um, I listened to... I listened to a couple episodes of Shonen and Chill. Don't ask me why. I just did. Um, I think it was, I wanted to hear what he said about, because he's been sort of ragging on my hero on um, Good man. Twitter. And I wanted to hear what he said. And not really ragging on it. He just, he, he loved the Stars and Stripes stuff, but he had issues with it. But on Twitter, it made it seem like he hated it. So I'm like, oh, let me hear what he said. And he's very, he's, he's with another dude there. I don't know how close they are. But um, they're laughing and joking and stuff, and he he seems more up than this, and mm-hmm. and that's that's my thing. But I know. wonder if the this is more of the put on of what he believes a critical analysis YouTuber should be, where his voice is a little bit l- less passionate, mm-hmm. so it comes across more factual. There is no universal metric of analyzing media that we all use. This statement is quite bold from this man. That's what I was saying. That's why I'm hoping the next thing he says well, is, well, you shouldn't be coming to this video, but I'll do my best or something. That seems like the type. To analyze anime, manga, everything. Well, sorry, but I can't do that. The field of literary studies is older than you, me, and everyone you know, and with that comes a wealth of different theories, approaches, and schools of thought. I am 23 and also a poopy head, so there is no way I can give you- Okay, so wait, pause. So here's the jokes. Uh, Handsome Squidward is is you. Um, Everybody else is for some reason Biden. I'm 23, a young individual, and a poopy head. None of those things are particularly funny. I understand humor is subjective, but... But Handsome Squidward, always funny. I'm just saying. Joe Biden, real old. I would prefer that he just goes straight laced with this. Absolutely. Especially something like this. His podcast, he says he hates Rohan. Really? That's odd. Yeah, I don't see you hating him. Um, I'm not a. I'm not the biggest fan of him. I love Rohan. But sorry, I'm. I'm. I'm not in the hate category. I'm more in the yeah, I like him. He's fine. Category. Nope. I don't see you hating. Him. Big love. He's a big very love. Good dude. Big pen in my mouth. The answer. In fact, there probably isn't the answer. However, I do get asked a lot about how one should go about finding interpretive meaning in anime, and I thought it'd be fun and interesting to share a few pointers. I will be talking about anime manga, but this stuff really is applicable to most forms of narrative fiction, be it books, games, movies, you name it. So without any further dilly-dallying, let's just get immediately started with it. One good point to start with is to look at the various elements of a story and try and find similarities and differences. This is important. Is that what people is do? It? I mean, similarities is definitely going to be themes. Mm-hmm. But differences, contrast? Ca- contrasting. Um, Naruto, hot headed boy. Sasuke, cool dude. It's the red only blue only thing that's been going on for forever. See, we got some Rohan heads up in here. Well, good for y'all. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, part four got a very strong cask, and and Rohan is just particularly not one of my favorites in the cast. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I'm not saying that he's bad or anything. I I'm think just saying you are. I don't, I don't love to do like y'all do. That's all I'm saying. Opinions. It's my opinion. It's objective. <laughs> They had a series where they did JoJo reviews, and it kind of hurts when they go part five to part uh, part four to part five, saying it's good. Ooh. What's up, Joey JoJo? Uh, my friend actually just recently asked me how I go about critically looking at stuff, so this is a neat uh, coincidence. And there you go. Yeah, and difference. Uh, but looking at similarities and differences, I mean, okay. So um, if somebody takes know. this video and and applies it to st- what. How would somebody watch this video and then go, okay, I know nothing about analyzing anything. Would they go back to this video and cite just like, okay, I, I just watched all of Dress Rosa. Now I need to look up the similarity of differences, the themes, whatever else he's going to say. Or is it just like something to put in the back of your mind as you're doing it? I think What's it's the, the back of the mind thing because too often, I don't, there was never any like particular video or thing that clicked in my mind to look at... um. 
editing mistakes in in movies and TV shows. Mm -hmm. But I noticed them, but there was never any one particular Mm -hmm. thing. So maybe uh, they're just looking for enough of this type of information to unlock that critical thinking. So the next time they look at a manga, they can go, oh, wow, that was really fun. And also that type of stuff of a story and try and find similarities and differences. This is important because the various ways in which characters and events differ from or parallel each other often indicate some important central ideas and themes. You're already implanting this. Mm-hmm. Um, there are... The author may not have intended any type of parallel type of thing. It could strictly be your own thinking. Oda recently had an interview where um, uh, chapter one, um, Shanks sort of leans back and put his hat, puts his hat on, and then chapter one thousand, Luffy does the same thing. And people are like, you did that on purpose. He's like, no, I didn't. But it's awesome that it happened. <laughs> so th- that sort of thing can absolutely happen. Yeah. So you don't know exactly what the author is thinking at any given time. You're you're just trying to make the connection. Now there are certain things that the connections are there, like mm-hmm. Naruto and Sasuke, obviously different personalities, different sort of similar upbringings, um, different power systems, things like that. But some things are just coincidences. The degradation of Gon's mindset, as opposed to the uplifting form of Killua's mindset in the Chimera Antark, that type of stuff. Uh, but also, Oda's kind of a madman because his editors were like, you know, chapter 1000 is coming up and he's just like, sure is. <laughs> Shrug shoulders. <laughs> but is that supposed to mean something? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, we're, we're planning all this stuff. And he's like, cool. For what? <laughs> <laughs> to keep in mind here, however, as with most of what I will say today, is that this stuff is is very likely not going to be completely obvious and it's often going to be obscured by various writing techniques. If we look at something like My Hero Academia, for example, well, and we course. take people like Deku, Shigaraki, La Brava, and Bakugo. He's going to do it. <laughs> he's going to do it. Just watch him. Watch him. <laughs> he's, he's on a whole other level than you. <laughs> I trust Oceanus. I trust him. He's going to do it. <laughs> I mean, three-fourths of these, I right. <laughs> Where's La Brava coming from? <laughs> These characters don't seem to have all that much in common if you just read their stories on a surface level. However, once you dig into the actual underlying causes, concepts, and ideas of their tales, you quickly realize that they all include the same central point, namely a suffering induced by the various expectations and structures of hero society. Oh, I've said- but that's basically everybody, because the hero society is the society. 80% yeah. of the people in the world have a quirk. Now, some people, it's like Deku's mom, where it's just like, I can just make things float, and she's just whatever she's doing. But if you want to be a hero, you're going to be influenced one way or another by hero society. This is not something that you need to think about. It's so obvious. Disillusioned because quirkless. Um, He wasn't disillusioned because quirkless, because even up until episode one, he was going, uh, can I be a hero too? Even without a quirk and all my like no, and that's when he starts going, dang, and he still does hero stuff. So he's disillusioned for maybe fifteen minutes, <laughs> uh, our time, maybe thirty minutes his time, left to the destructive consequences of his quirk. What's that gotta do with his disillusionment between or suffering from the quirk? No, they all just have something to do with their quirk. Ostracized because quirk curiosity? Sure. That's not why she was ostracized. She was a weird little girl. Uh huh. Superiority complex because quirk praise. How do these things match? They all Just have quirk have in it, and that's the similarities. Quirk, and that's that's it. Lay down, just quirk, and then you and then you build from that. And then it's like, hey, they all have something to do with quirks. Why? Because the hero society. And then you go, okay, the hero society, it fosters people with quirks. And then it shuns people without quirks. And if you got a weird quirk, then you're, and then you got, you, you, and then you're analyzing. You're in, you're on, you're on the moon. You can say this with Momo, Ida, Momo, Ida, 
Like you can say a uh, Kaminari, a sure. uh, Jiro. Hey, shut up. <laughs> What the f- They all in the same show. Absolutely. <laughs> Hot set of characters. <laughs> hey, he's go- he went somewhere with it. Y'all just didn't realize it. I have faith in our boy. I don't know why. But the various expectations and structures of hero society. I've said this a million times. You know the drill. And voila. You got yourself a theme. Where would the theme derive from there? Because themes aren't just... um. <clears throat> hey... Uh, one character was hurt in this way by quirks. One character, whatever quirk. And that's not just a theme of just going quirk. Because that's all you highlighted. You weren't mm-hmm. highlighting the ostracization of it. Just quirk itself. Now, that's not where I would go with it. I'd go, okay, the hero society, sometimes it fosters people. But what about the people that it doesn't foster? Why was Himiko Toga just allowed to just kill and drink people? Why was she not a, sat down and was like, nah, this is wrong? Like we said in our um, My Hero episode, like what is quirk training for an elementary school student? What? what? We don't know that. And, and the story isn't telling us that. Because only 20 chapters ago, they were like, yeah, America. <laughs> See, the theme of My Hero to me is that the hero society on the surface is super shiny. But all it is really is a bunch of narcissistic people d- uh, doing their best to get the spotlight. Mm-hmm. And money and, and fame and all this stuff as opposed to actually helping people. And this is furthered by people like uh, Stain who are just like, there's nobody worthy because this is a piece of sh- society except All Might who actually just wants to help people and Deku who I learned. But That's he why he wanted to- rolls up in a Lamborghini with a fly leather coat. <laughs> sure does. I guess he got some sponsorships or something. <laughs> sure did. <laughs> and then... You know, the whole um, villain society is just like, hero society sucks because y'all act like y'all are truly good people. We got all these people through Stain's point of view and building their own ideology off of that. That, to me, is the uh, theme of in My Hero. Not, not just, just the word quirk. And hero society, something, something, connection. <laughs> what the f- most people have two legs. We all share the same theme. <laughs> the, yep, just capital T themes. Or, the theme of Quirk is only supported by these four characters. Uh, he cast out that line into a garbage dump and <laughs> pulled out a theme. Dude, that's what this is. He basically blended Quirk into something and drank things. See, this is the problem with themes. You have to make them. You have to go, okay, what is Deku... Shigaraki, La Brava, and Bakugo have in common? Well, they were all, their all past were affected by their quirks. Or Thus lack of quirk. is the problem with the hero society. And then that's the theme. But like I said, I would go into not, not the theme, but why is there an issue with the hero society? And that's what causes me to be like, okay, my hero isn't as good as I thought because it's not even interested halfway in and exploring why there's a problem with the hero society and what can we do to fix it and how do we foster these 80 percent of the world who have who just have kids who can basically just do anything at any given time some kid could come out and just shoot lights out of their eyes but then some kid just comes out with rocket feet there's a man it's a, it's a pretty funny in the discord that's just a spray bottle <laughs> what is his horrific life like how do you foster that person? What is their lunch like? And we don't know these things. Now you can go theme, mm-hmm. whatever. Analyze it that way. But analyze the, the problems. What makes it good? What makes it bad? Don't just go, ah, theme. Because once you just go, ah, theme, where do you go from there? I hope he, I hope he explains where do we go once we have the theme established. I would hope so. Other than, hey, just make all the connections to the other stuff. As much as you can, every anywhere that you can. Clearly, it's no training for kids. Just look at when Bakugo had to retake his temp hero license with all those unruly kids. Yeah, it was a teacher that was just like, you're giving me a day off from these kids just being monsters. <laughs> so you just got a snake girl sitting next to an explosion dude, sitting next to a dude with mad super strength. How? you Okay, you got super strength. How do you just sit there and just go, I got a pencil, snap. 
How, a As kid a is a, a, kid. Yes, a six year old is not going to have the restraint to not do that. What happens if there's some schoolyard scuffle? You think he's not going to swing his fist and cave a kid's face in? Sorry, spray bottle man. You broken. I guess you got to go get repaired? Or is that just your face? What happens if your nozzle breaks? <laughs> Why are you so fixated on spray Because it makes no sense. Sure. Why Why does Stars and Stripes get two rules that can affect reality and this girl's a frog? <laughs> Why? And this man's a spray bottle. Hey, let's, let's try to find the theme in there. No. <laughs> no. But that's how you analyze. My goodness. <laughs> My hero, sir. <laughs> and voila, you got yourself a theme. Or, for the opposite example, you take two characters like Naruto and Sasuke, whose stories and roles in the narrative are very different, and through that difference, you can gleam out a theme of the value of human connections. Which... Sure, I guess you can. Hey, whatever. I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah. But but what what else is there? What, what does that have... what does that enhance anything? Yes. Especially when it, it breaks later, like hey, the value of human connections. Okay, what is what about um somebody like Chino? Where where is his value of human connection? Oh, I guess the theme only applies to certain people. So so if I was just to pick um Shika and Choji, oh, it's the theme of being kind to people. So everything just has a theme, and it's just it is it enhanced because it has a theme because you can extrapolate any connection that you can make and then make a theme and then make it better. Does that make it better to somebody like Oceanus? What chapter is Spray Bottle Man in? I don't know, but he's in the anime. I'm gonna look up Spray Bottle. Uh, the spray can is an allegory for graffiti artists and some other race bait shit. That's the theme of that spray bottle. See, there you go. Neo got it. Oh man, I'm I not gonna. I thought you turned be... off the heat. I didn't turn off anything. Uh, Why would I turn it off? Because you were downstairs working out. So, that that's good for sweat. <laughs> yeah, but I thought you would go. All right, I'm done with my workout. Let Dang. me turn off the heat. <laughs> Dang, I'm gonna have to look for spray bottle there. Wait a second, I'm gonna look up spray. Am I gonna get something bad? Yep, there we go, spray bottle man. Um. Kids gonna be kids, but kids hey, with Kirk yep, need extra is. care with them for potential danger because they're absolutely dangerous. Um, wow, he, he's just a spray bottle man. He's just a spray bottle man. Um, yeah, he's fighting. He's fighting Dobby. I don't. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just the biggest straw man. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna be able to find him. He's on the Discord. I don't know how to. Uh, can you can you tweet it out? Uh, yeah, I can put it on the stream real quick. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna send it to you. No, no, no. Just uh, just uh, reply to the spray bottle man, so I don't have to plug this up. I'll go to the Discord. Oh, okay, reply okay. to it, and then I could just yeah, quickly I go to it. Oh no. Yes, we're showing spray bottle man. Shut up. Y'all gonna get, y'all gonna learn today. <laughs> why is this, why Discord gotta be like this? Look, I'm gonna search for spray, there it is, there's Gavin, and then it just goes to the bottom for some reason. There we go, okay. Um, yeah, that was stupid. Uh, what channel is it in? Uh, manga. Manga, manga. Are you pulling me? I'm right. There we go. And then here, there's this dude with like eight arms. Wow, he's he's, he's holding his nozzle to spray it. He can't even and he's got all spray. And he's got one long arm and long fingers. So now we have to sit there and go, okay, this is the guy has literally eight arms. What does how, where do you go to tailor some some like that? Is there a specific store that somebody goes to that go, yo, my kid got eight arms. Hey, I need an extra wide brim so my spray bottle kid can get it to his shirt. Or is it one of them pull away shirts that he got a button up? Look at this monster. 
<laughs> life is pain for him. He has he has no depth perception. <laughs> You can only look sideways. How does he? You can't see in front of you. That's what we were talking about in Discord. Do we have? Does he have to like turn his nozzle and take off his head and then pour nutrients into the bottle, the neck, and then he's just like, ah, there's my sustenance. Or what? What is he spraying? What is that arm? What is home? Why is hit homeboy's a arms? Why are those napkins glowing? What is going on here? Thematic greatness. We can't be having this. Yes, we can. This, this raises questions. so many questions. Uh, there are no questions said in Twitter space, sir, so I don't... This raises so many questions. <laughs> uh... It was probably, Chris, it's probably just a, a quick little flash of, of Spray Bottle Man. <laughs> Yeah, it's so I don't know why you would hold on them. <laughs> <laughs> what and what are his powers? Why is he a hero? What what benefits could he offer to the hero society? Uh, clean up. Could he possibly could it is could it be an uh, uh some sort of anesthetic in those in the spray that that he sprays and then they get weak and it's tranquilizing them? Is it a gas? <laughs> If that's the case, why not? You don't need a man with a spray bottle hand. Just get a spray bottle and fill it with tranquilizer. What is the what is the eight arms man doing? He has a spray bottle! Oh yeah, he does. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many. Yeah, what is spray bottle man's parents' quirks? Because it's probably an amalgamation or taking on one of their quirks. Maybe I, maybe one of them was spray bottle person, and the other person had one stretchy arm, so he gets spray bottle and stretchy arm, cause that arm don't make any sense. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's definitely about to spray something. Other characters, I have alter reality explosions, disintegrate, and super strength. This guy. <laughs> You're not even an effective window washer. You are you are a man that can be replaced by a bottle. And a man without the with the ability to look forward. Look that's his eye hole. You can't tell me this man is looking forward. This is this is not okay. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that was Mr. Clean. <laughs> oh, this video, I forgot. <laughs> Which itself can then be used to also find similarities between them. Okay, so just look for themes and then you got the theme. Look for similarities and contrast. And that's it. And you got your theme. And then what do you do with that theme? Nothing, you got it. And then once you make a theme, points go up. A zero series can be turned into an eight with eight themes. Them. Now, beyond just similarities and differences, another good idea is to look for constants, subjects, ideas, and topics that consistently pop up in a work, not necessarily in always the same context or similarity, but still present regardless. One great example of this would be fate. Turn it off. I will do literally anything right now than continue to watch this video. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Dude, I, I did not know this could possibly be an okie doke to just talk more about fate in part We're, five. He's talked about two things, fate and themes. I'm not doing this. Oh, no. We never left. We never left. <laughs> how, how did this happen? <laughs> no way. Hey, yeah, this, is a, this is a screen right here. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> One example is fate. Oh, okay. Okay, o Ocean. Okay. Present regardless. 
One great example of this would be Fate in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Every part of the story deals with very different thematic colorations of it, but at the end of the day, it comes back to Fate. Yo, I'm sorry we only streamed for half an hour, but we gotta go. Hey, we had the fun spray bottle, man. Hey, that's that. pretty, hey let's go back. <laughs> <laughs> Bring them back. Yeah, dude, come on now. Dude, what is this? You can, dude, come, what is this? I honestly you, did not know we were getting this. You can be like, okay, in my hero, uh, uh, Deku's power, it, it evolved enough, the one for all evolved enough so that he can now use all the other quirks. He was fated to take down Shigaraki because this, this, and this, and this. Yeah, it's a fated encounter of all for one and one for all and blah, blah, blah. You can put fate into anything. Fate is not special. <laughs> Every part of the story deals with very different thematic colorations of it, but at the end of the day, it comes back to fate. Whether it be the fated duel between opposing brothers. The fated duel between brothers? What? 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 What fated about this? Either could have died in the mansion. Either could have died, but fate prevented that because they had to have their showdown. The fate that connects bloodlines. The act of the fight. The fate that connects bloodlines. Can you do me a favor and go back to see exactly what was the that act quick? That was a good thirty-five minutes. We can clock out, boy. <laughs> Hey, but manager said I can go home early. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of slow. Okay, you guess so. <laughs> the theme of fate is quirk, so that's facts. That's it. Hey, that's how you analyze fate. everybody. Also, butts. <laughs> I lost the theme. What are we talking about? In opposing brothers, the fate that connects bloodlines, the act of defying fate, or the fate found in one's own self-image. The fate found in one's own self-image? Oceanic, legitimately. What the f are you talking about? He knows what he's talking about. But he's not explaining it. He knows. We're trying to analyze this video, but there's... Wait a second. We need to take his words and put them into this video. We need to analyze. No. We need to look at the similarities and the differences and the and the constants. And the it's themes. similar to bad videos. Yes, it it's is. It's different from good videos. <laughs> no. Fames. Uh, he says fate again a lot. Yeah. All of Jojo, in some way or form, is concerned with the idea of fate. Oh my god. He's I just hate saying it. things to say them, absolutely. I hate it. And that's what that's what this is. You just say stuff and then people clap and then they go, Yeah, now I finally know. I can just point to something and go, there's fate in it, and I'm analyzing things. Or, in other words, fate is a constant. Because of this, Fate is an attractive thing to base an interpretation around because there is a lot of material regarding it and that means there is more stuff to really dig into. That's it? Um, I... That's it? This video... Oceanus is not a quality video maker. He's um he's not explaining anything really. He's just he's going explaining it. But look for themes. Look for connections like fate. No, but he's going look for um uh things like constants. Okay, here's an example of a constant. Look for that. But then and that's what how you, you analyze it. it. Yeah, I what hope, do you I do with later, it? He puts it all together and goes, and this is what you do with it. But what could he say to do with it? You got a theme. You got a constant. You got statements and questions. Uh, Blaze, we will be fighting against our fate on that one, so... Oh, boy. It's gonna be a while. That man is draining. <laughs> I've, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on the, the top of the mountain going, he is the worst person that we cover. Whoa, really? Consistently. Consistently because Bricky, Bricky, again, Bricky is an idiot. 
He just he, he's and not he, trying and he to be anything more. Yes, and he factually didn't watch it, and he's just talking. That's a hundred percent fine. We have that one sample size, so I can't say that he's the worst based upon that one sample size. Same thing with Couch Coco Man. I can't say he's the worst because we got that one sample size. He could be putting out bangers, and it could just did this one just wasn't. And his Disney hate was just so strong that. But he Mark is so consistent with his horribleness. I can't say anything but it. And I know Triton is on the on the train for uh, Mother's Basement. I'm which not is on a, that. Which is a strong which is contender. acceptable. But it's Mark, and 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 and, and it's gonna we be. We haven't finished Dritz yet. And we haven't finished. Yeah, it's gonna be a fight to make us go back to Mark. Mm -hmm. I'll say that. Worse than Ocean Oceanus? Yes, worse than Oceanus. Um. This video, uh, we'll see. Ask me once we finish this video. Because <laughs> this isn't, he's not making a very good case. This is a squonk one. So you've got a theme that you have found in this story. You Jokes. It's not a joke. It's the word titties on screen with a scientist. Isn't that funny though? For whom? That's the. Does he need to make a video on how to construct a joke for you to understand this brilliant comedy of, of glasses man and titties with two D's? The funny way to spell it? Nothing sexual about this. This is comedy. Look, he's a nerd. And nerds are funny. Breasts are funny in the right context. I guess this is the context. Sure. <laughs> He's studying it so hard, but it's about titties. Uh, Mark is a pretty reasonable guy if you ever talk to him about the points of his videos. I can see that. I can see that him him backing down and be like, yep, I was wrong about that sort of thing. Um, he, he put out the call and just like, hey, if you guys want to talk, let's talk. And he, he, he accepted somebody's and we didn't get accepted. Uh, he accepted him and then never got the call. All right. Because I talked to that guy. <laughs> oh, dear. Booba comedy achieved. Yep, that's all it is. Just, 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 just funny boobs. Auga, the auga equals funny. Auga is comedy. I ain't never looked for no theme ever. How have I been experiencing media wrong for almost thirty years? Yeah, I before like I knew what a theme was, and when people say it's got a theme of blah blah blah, I always thought okay, that's just uh things connecting to each other, whatever. But once we started doing this, it's just so much theme stuff. Dirty humor equals funny. That's what it is. You just look at that and you just go, yeah, that's funny. Wait, wait, wait. Play that. So you've got a theme that you have found in this story. <laughs> Titties. No, that, that feels wrong. I don't, that's, I, I don't know what the reaction was supposed to be for that. Warfare about 40 minutes late. And we've almost quit like two times already. <laughs> <laughs> this video is infuriating. Okay, similarities and differences, add constants, or maybe something completely different. What do you do next? Well, a good question to ask yourself here is, what does the story actually say about this theme? In our last video, we postulated that stories can be seen as a series of questions. Here, we can extend this further and say that stories are a series of questions and statements, both of which usually revolve around their themes and core concepts. So, now that we have found a theme and a central idea of the work, you can start thinking what the story actually has to say or to ask regarding those themes. After all, no series ever just has a theme in complete isolation. There's always context, discourse, a back and forth between the various elements. If we return to Jojo, every single part basically makes a different statement or poses a different question regarding fate. Can fate be overcome? How do you behave regarding your fate? What even is fate? Wait, pause! How do you behave regarding your fate? That could be put into anything. How does uh, Shigaraki regard, behave regarding to his fate? He has a destructive quirk. So he he has to be just like, oh, I'm going down the villain path. How does he behave? How does Deku behave in regard to his fate of um not having a quirk? How do you behave in regards to quirk can be apply to anything? This is nothing! This was a bad video to pick. This is a bad idea. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> you revisiting? <laughs> is overcoming it really worth it? Etc. 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 
From these questions, you can form your analysis and interpretation. However, as I said, this Pause. isn't- But the questions themselves are your interpretation. Yes. So you're affirming your interpretation of your interpretation? Because unless an author outright states that part five was about can you overcome your fate, it's just what you're interpreting based on the story you read. And again, fate is unchangeable because it is the literal word. And then once you have a question, then again, all this just leads back to and then what? How, so now you have can you overcome your fate and, and then what? You showcase people going, okay, here's somebody trying and then here's somebody failing. Uh, the Last Jedi, uh, there's more to learn from failure than success. Um, questions. How exactly does... There's more to learn fail? from uh, failure than success. Mm -hmm. success uh, failure is a be better teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what's the why question? Why is success a poor teacher? It's not, uh, it, but it's just that uh, failure is better. Uh, why is why is failure better? Because it, and then the story would inform us through the statements is made of that, and we would interpret it ourselves. Okay, but I don't want to go into the last Jedi stuff because <laughs> I'm just like. Finn failed in what way exactly? <laughs> See, you're 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 taking too much of the minutia. No, first of... we have to figure out how he failed, and then what question See, could be extrapolated not from everybody, that failure. Not everybody is failing. It's just the overarching theme of the story of failure being a better teacher. So now we have to figure out who failed. And, yes. and why was it a better teacher? Yes. So we're not. So we're Finn is off the table. Yes. Is Rose off the table? Uh, sure. Uh, Kylo. No. How did he fail? Uh, he he failed in both his family and his master, and to be uh, the leader of of the, the new Sith. That I'm and, talking about in the second movie, not the third. Oh oh oh, Last Jedi. Uh, what was I thinking? Rise of Skywalker. Uh, yes. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh, that's two of those at least. <laughs> Whatever. And he failed to quell the rebellion. He's failed so much in that movie. And it and it formed him of his decisions in the third movie. What a thing. What a constant. What a, a statement? Question statement? That's what it was. That's what, yeah. What a question and statement. <laughs> How long do we tap in? Um, 45 minutes ago. <laughs> Fate is busted, just like the theme of prophecy. Absolutely, because fate, you could. You no, could we lost the doodle that sucks! What? Just had a mini blackout, oh, so there's that a sucks. good chance we just lost the doodle. Nah, we'll see when you come back. Please, please auto save whatever your program. But just like the theme of prophecy, because fate can just be applied to anything. Anything yes. could just be like, oh, this was just fated to happen. I feel like uh, as long as there are two things, you can apply any theme to anything. Yeah. Always straightforward. Some stories are a bit more obvious in what they say and ask, but many will do their best to obscure those thematic statements. After all, many stories seek to also be entertaining and thought provoking and ambiguous, which works better if it's thematical dis thematical discourse. Uh, okay. Uh, if a story is trying to be ambiguous, then what? analysis could there be derived from there to inform discourse if it's meant to be to that person's interpretation of said thing yeah i don't i don't know he's he, again he's just talking <laughs> painting and thought-provoking and ambiguous which works better if its thematical discourse is implied and abstracted as opposed to just being spelled out Naoki Urasawa's Monster, for example. Monster is such a good fit series. Please read and or watch Monster. Has an immense breadth and variety of different... Oh, uh, never mind. It's abstractly worse. ...thematic angles regarding the nature of humanity, the value of life, the origin of evil, and the list goes on. 
And while it does indulge in occasional direct discussions of these topics, it more often than not opts to have them happen more in the subtext, with the actual thematic statements being left implied and ambiguous. Approaches like the one in- LIKE WHAT?! Like the theme! Like the theme! You're not listening. Did you even watch Monster? Did you not extrapolate the theme? And the implied subtext yeah. of a theme? And relate it to everything applicable? And ignore the things where it's not applicable? Or invent ways that it is, in fact, applicable to the things that it's not applicable to? Can you Did spell you? applicable? I most certainly cannot, but that doesn't change the fact that you're not watching Monster correctly. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're not watching it correctly. Monster isn't bad news for us, however. In fact, it is quite great. Because there is less clarity, there is more room for us to interpret. Pause. The and then you're making up the theme yourself. Yes. So one person's theme could be completely different from another person's theme. And even if you do have the same interpretation of your theme, somebody could see it differently. Somebody could be like, hey, this dude is uh, further into the theme of self-exploration than this guy. And thus, that's why he won and he lost. There, there... Ah, but that's where analysis comes in because everybody has their own opinion and everybody has their own interpretation. So we all see things differently and thus everybody's correct and analysis continues forever. Arigato, Oceanus. <laughs> Cut the video off. <laughs> Stories yeah. don't need themes to be good. They need to be good to be good. Yes, again. Never in my life do I, I've never read something and gone, wow, that was great. What was the theme of that? And how did it tie it up the theme and tie it into the themes and all this? I have never gone that. And there's these things that I love in this world so much, absent of themes. Even if somebody sat me down like, ah, the theme of Final Fantasy X is accepting the past and this and this and this. I'd be like, the okay, whatever. Death, okay, whatever. Ah, but but Titus, he was a, he was a, a ghost of the past, and he needs to let go. And you know, you know, she she's going to die, but she needs to learn. Okay, that does nothing for my enjoyment because some you other mom can come up the street. Some other mom can come up the street and be like, hey, the theme of responsibility is so prevalent in Final Fantasy X. Kimari Ronzo with the responsibility of his Ronzo. She, you know, needs to take, you know, needs to take out uh, Sin. She has the responsibility. And I'm like, okay. You don't need themes. And half of this video or more have just been themes. <laughs> I mean, that's this, this might as well just be called how to find a theme and apply it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lost. Holy shit. At the at least the other videos had one point they kept in the middle of the discussion. Theme being literally anything makes this impossible to follow. <laughs> the theme of theme. <laughs> that's what this video is. And he's just going, please clap for us to interpret. The gaps left by the ambiguity of the text are to be filled by the reader's own ideas, analytical mind, and critical thinking. Him just going from point to point. What was the third point? Um, was it questions, questions and answers? Statements, statements and, and questions. Questions and statements. And, and now we have to apply five different things into it to uh, figure out. What was the first one? Um, uh, uh, similarities and differences. Cool, 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 cool. Good man. So I'm going to just assume the second one was themes because he said it so much. <laughs> it was not themes. It was, um, it wasn't themes. It was, um, it wasn't three themes directly. It was, um, because that, that's where the fate thing came in. Constance. Constance. That was it. We're learning. <laughs> One Piece is good because it's good. Sure, it has themes, but just having themes doesn't make it good. Apparently, Oceanus thinks that it's just instant good apply theme. Yeah, that's that's a that's a good point. Uh, uh, hopeless. 
I want the author's idea. Mine ain't good. That's why I'm not an author. So <laughs> the author should be doing as much as they can to explain what their series are, as opposed to leaving it to two million dummies that won't even get a vaccine. <laughs> Followers recovered but lost 80% of the work. Ah, that sucks. That always sucks. Dude, if it was an RPG, I'd be done for months. <laughs> Finally able to catch one of these? Oh, you picked a bad one. I think themes help to expand and enhance stories for certain types of people, especially writers who want to write the same with um, with their own stories someday. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the writers putting things into there and just going, ooh, there's the themes... That's that's to them, and then somebody else can just do extrapolate their own thing, and that's that's why I'm just like, yep, themes themes are you do themes, but don't tell me that themes make a story good. Uh, it's unbelievably pretentious, and try hard comedy out this in world. Yes, I I would never. We've been doing Revisited for a year plus. What's up, Hill? A little over uh, two years. A little over two. We've, I would never sit down and go, okay, here's how you sit here and critique a video. I, would, I wouldn't I would do that. Mm-mm. You just do it. I, do it. <laughs> and then be like, hey. Because then if you're going, hey, here's how you do it, everybody's going to have the same style. Mm-hmm. Everybody's going to have the same way of doing it. It's all just going to be a bunch of theme monsters. Then we'll need that. It's, you it's, figure a, out- it's a legit circle of everybody patting themselves yeah. on the back. Just going, hey, I never thought of that. Yeah. Pat, like, you figure out what's important to you and talk about it. I would never talk about themes if I was talking to, if I did a proper analysis video. I'd talk about the characters, the comedy, sometimes the art. But the themes, you're just going, hey, look for themes, look for constants, look for the, what questions those themes ask. No! <laughs> How about no? Uh, Alfonso, that's actually our homework, our uh, top 10 viewer request month. Moment. I've got mine. I think I got, I got 11 mine. by mistake. My question about Comey versus Aqua is so thematic that it's too much for DA's tiny brain. Absolutely. I can't handle it. Yeah, and, and thus you will forever be it will forever be unanswered. Um that's it, the it's theme. Just, it's purposely left ambiguous. Yep. And they, and you need to extrapolate your own answer. Your own interpretation of yep. what his answer would be. What do you think be? my answer would be? And you're right, and you're wrong. And then, hey, guess what? Cyberman Wolf, he'll give give me an answer. And then he's right, and he's wrong. Or she, or they, I don't know what you are. <laughs> okay, you've got a theme, and you have a few ideas as to what the story might be trying to tell you about them. That's what it is! Have your analysis video, and literally, you have a theme, and now what is the story trying to say about the theme? And that's how you analyze in fiction? So, so. <laughs> not analyzing the plot, not analyzing the characters, what? Nope, nothing. The, the thing. The characters being consistent, consistency within the world. Because if Kaido is just like, dang, the theme of One Piece is freedom. Everybody's free. That's not Kaido's character. But it plays into the theme. And you can question, oh, what does it mean for Kaido's freedom? It's almost six minutes of theme stuff. Almost six minutes of theme stuff. Now is the time for interpretation. That news Interpretate. So you need you feel like you need to tell people to interpret theme. No, this is how you interpret it. Theme equal automatically good. I don't. I would love to figure. I would love to see what his thought process was. We say that all with, the time, but, but this one especially. Because he's just like, the theme is the most important thing to me. So now I'm going to fi- tell you how to figure out a theme and make a story better. I deal with, I, what what dummy does he think is watching this and just going, dang, you I want to know dead, how to. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> This is the part the theme of this video you. is the struggle of fate. As we struggle to get through this video, the... <laughs> It's how we are fated to be, you see. And that makes this video good. 
I guess. 1K subs, please. How do y'all interpret that? You Somebody know. give a different interpretation of the theme of this video. Please, we need help. You're right, and we'll all interpret it. And we're we're all right, and everybody can analyze anything at any time by just going theme. Because who's going, no, no theme. As long as it's even kind of right, the theme fits. Yeah, you could be like, One Piece, the theme of fun, the theme of freedom, the theme of adventure. They're all technically correct. <laughs> The theme, the theme of responsibility of, of the past uh, uh, leading to the future. The theme Inherited of, uh, will. The theme of uh, revolution. And that's, you got slaves, you got uh, Dress Rosa, Wano, all this Sky stuff. Pia. And that's like seven different videos with seven different themes. And they're all technically correct. So nobody can sit there and just go, no, you're wrong. What discussion is there to be had other than, yeah, it the is. The theme of birthright? Because you got Celestial Dragons, what don't Holy you want it? Holy crap. It's all just, and, and in the comments, it's just going to be like, yeah, this video was good. You did go through all the themes, but you forgot about the th Buggy plays into the theme of freedom as well because, and they just go, hey, somebody else fits into the, th the theme. Good video. We can't be having this. This isn't anything. How is there six minutes left of this video? What can he say? <laughs> the funny thing is, you thought we needed another video. <laughs> <laughs> Are you late to this party? No, leave. <laughs> hey, you're late. Hey, everybody got shot. <laughs> so, and you were late, a, but it was a good thing you was late. It's a <laughs> bloodbath. It's like, yo. <laughs> the house burned down. It's literally I, on I fire. pizza, but I guess we ain't rocking that today. It's that Troy in me where he comes in with the pizza. And it's all on fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. Just That's like, how you wait. Oh. <laughs> You came into a burning apartment. This is worthless. <laughs> this is the, the video is about fate and how we are fated to sit here and see through this garbage video until the end of time. <laughs> and they're correct. Everybody's correct when you go. The theme is this. In fact, that anybody can buy a USB mic and start saying it is a curse more than a blessing. Absolutely. People have things to say. I say let them say it, but this type of thing doesn't need to be said. I'll say let them say it, but you shouldn't necessarily be watching it. Yeah. People, 800,000 people shouldn't necessarily be watching it. And, and, they and shouldn't have like 12,000 views. We, we did um, Octopus Man who did a Comey video a while back. Horrible dude. Horrible video. But he had a he had a video just like, hey y'all, Lolicon isn't all that bad. And you go, you don't need a mic. <laughs> you have lost your privileges. <laughs> it's like a, a Steven Crowder <laughs> just going, yeah, at some of the end of my sets, I say, er, and it's just like, well, uh, bruh, you shouldn't you shouldn't be here. Bad news though, this is the part I can help you the least with, because this will heavily depend on your own personal interests, imagination, creativity, what have you. Your personal way of interpreting things will heavily be formed by simply what you're interested in and what kind of things you look out for in your stories. Pause. What is the theme of Beastars? Uh, I was just going to read into that. Uh, so while he Oceanus was speaking and I absorbed zero of the information he just said. Same Because he just said, I can't help you. So he's just going to say why he can't help you because it's all your it's own all you. feelings and yeah. crap. Yeah, I knew the what it was going to be. he needs to say this is staggering. Um, so I thought about that for about 20 seconds. You could say that the um, the theme is about the thin line of uh, balance between uh, carnivores just going nuts and eating all the herbivores, and herbivores trying to be friendly with them. Um, you could say the theme is uh, it's something about classism, if you want it. Oh, dude, I yeah, forgot the, about... the Nux square peg into a rock. No, it's just, just a mask. No, he's just a guy under the nozzle. <laughs> oh, no, really? No. Oh. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's debt drawing, y'all. Don't worry about it. 
<laughs> but yeah, the theme of B stars, it's um, like I said, it could be any one of six things, and oh yeah, as long uh, as you with as, the theme thing. Sorry, I was still. Uh, you could say that it's an allegory for classism because the class of the uh, carnivores, they're powerful, they're strong, they get everything, and the herbivores are very weak and meek, and the carnivores literally eat the herbivores, and it's a fine balancing act of the herbivores just being like, I want to be friendly with you, I want to believe in you guys, but at any time, you can show your teeth, and that's just like the super powerful rich eating the working class poor, and the working class poor just being like, no, they're my friends. Uh, they want to help me. They looking out for me. But at any time, they can bear their fangs and you can get your arm eaten off. And you're just like, I thought we were friends. So you can see it as the same as like a high class, like corporate overlord and uh, working class people. And that's, you can do whatever you want. Okay, hey, whatever. It's all good. That took me 40 seconds to think about. Let me make a nine-minute video on it. Somebody needs to tell you how to interpret that. Because you know what? Never thought about this. Never needed to think about this. Yes, it's the same Ocean Man that loves Geo. Yep. Loves Part 5. Because it's the most in your face about fate. And that's the theme. And, and he, then said, he just goes boom. Everything, JoJo's is some form of trying to question what fate is. Sorry, I've been marathoning this Stone isn't... Ocean before coming here. Day one, hour one. As soon as I woke up, I'm like, oh, it's a good day. So <laughs> Put that boy right on. I work overnights from like uh, four to one. And it came up at like three. And I watched, I think, the first six episodes. And I was like, I'm sleepy. And then I'm still not done with them. No, no, I just finished them last night when I was working out. Just finished them. Good Great. Uh, he changed some things, but what are you gonna do? Yeah. What spray bottle man thing? Pain. Uh, clean. <laughs> the uh, inability to eat, I guess. Or in your stories. This isn't something I can personally really help you with. So instead of a concrete path, let me give you just some general blanket advice. Any interpretation not based on the text is immediately worthless. This is one I have to stress. It doesn't matter how smart and groundbreaking your claim seems, if it's constructed out of thin air, it is basically void. So make sure- Did he construct some things out of thin air with that whole, uh, his eyes are open to fate and all that? Yes, absolutely. I remember that. Hey, whatever. And it's like a, the hand of fate guiding him. Hey, whatever. Hey, that was old Oceana. This is this is current. Sure that you can back your interpretation up with actual examples from the text showing where and how. Uh, 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 but uh, but silver with the hippo thing, you can see that as uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh no, 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 I'm just saying. Even leading into my theme of uh, classism and the strong and the weak. You can see that as if someone becomes big enough, they can hurt the working class. You can see that as uh, some type of freedom fighter or a leader of some type of revolution. Or, uh, um, um, uh, what am I looking for when a group of people in a place, in a workplace get together? And a union. 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 You can see it as a union leader. Up, oh, you just helped my theme along. Thank you. What's the point of the video? <laughs> Dude, Neo is so mad because he's just going. It's all your interpretation. <laughs> he's so mad. We're there. Don't know what you are. With actual examples from the text showing where and how the text implies what you believe from it. This doesn't have to be overt. If you say story X is about futility, you don't need to show a passage that literally says this story is about futility, but rather show examples of where the theme can reasonably be interpreted into. For anything! Anything. One piece is about futility. Yep. Naruto's about futility. Bleach is about futility. My hero's about futility. How many examples do you need before you just go, yes it is? 
because you can get enough examples. You can get somebody, you can get like Kenpachi struggling against Nori Toro and just go, ah, the futility, but he rides above that futility. How many? In what ways? Where, wh this is, and this is literally our issue with themes. If anybody, anytime anybody comes into the comments, just like, what's your problem with themes? It's this. It's any interpretation and then and it's, it's valid, just, and it's just people clapping, and it's just valid, and, and and you're just right. As long as you can string together five things, you're just right. The theme of this theme is about themes. Yep, it's which, all just which themes. it wasn't supposed to be about. It was supposed to be analysis, but now it's just about themes. It's just about themes. For example, if we say you think story X is about futility, then you look at a character who fails to achieve whatever he wants to achieve all the time, and many other characters do the same, and you say, okay... That's not futility! That's failure! Futility is you are not, you don't have the ability! It's futile what you're doing, because you won't! It's fine. That's just his interpretation of the definition. The definition is fact! Mm. <laughs> Should I read or watch Stone Ocean? It's up to whatever you like. Um, I'd say, I'd say watch it. It's a really good um, adaptation, but it seems like it's not going to be back on. I've, I've been hearing reports until April. Uh, I don't know about that. It's been It's just been sort of rumblings. That's four months. That's not bad. So you Five might, months. it stops and I hate it that it stops right before my favorite arc in all of Soul Ocean. Probably all of Jojo, the kiss of love and revenge. Yeah. Very odd because sometimes she says sticker, but one time she says smack. And on top of that, it's so odd that when it was first introduced uh, against Highway to Hell, she's standing there and there stands behind her and there's the text on it and it says smack and then... We even see the, like, um, uh, the translation say smack, but she just calls it sticker. I think it's because, um, And then Japanese, she's got the giant kiss on her chest. Shut up, that doesn't matter. It, in Japanese, it's kiss, kissu. So it's two lip flaps that mm -hmm. they have to go. So instead of doing going like, go smack, it's sticker. How about the smack? How about just kiss? It's a word. It's a word. You, but then they wouldn't allow echoes. I know, and it's stupid, and I hate it. Give, give me kiss. Kiss is amazing. Kiss is great. I'm telling kiss of love and revenge. But again, I'm staying up for that. I don't care what time it comes out. Why did I'm, they? I'm in there. Why did they do uh? Like a virgin. Legitimately, I was so shocked because that's a like. Truly thing. That, that's Madonna's song. Hands down. There is nothing else like that. But kiss is a word. If kiss comes after you, they you, got they barely got a case. You're like, look, Ermy's doesn't wear makeup. Uh Ermy's uh Stan doesn't wear makeup. It's just a kiss lip, and there's nothing from Kiss that has looked like these lips. Sorry, I don't know what this is about. The only thing they got is, hey, look at all these other musical references. But then you could just go, ah, part three doesn't have musical references like that. Star, um, um, Star Platinum isn't a musical reference, so there are stands that's not musical reference, and this is simply one of them. They don't, they barely have a case. Get this out of here. Give me my kiss. We can talk about, we can talk about part six a little bit later in the questions area. You see in this that futility is a constant in this world. White Python would have been fly. Futility is a constant in this world, and because of that, this is a central theme, and so on, so on, so on. And then you central theme is the theme that everything else is centered mm. around. So now we have to be like everybody or the majority of people fit into this theme of futility. And again, this is all your interpretation because you're just like, you You already said the, the author shouldn't have to come out and have to absolutely say it. So your theme, your centralized theme is futility and somebody else's isn't. Of course, develop what the story might be saying about it and what you think is the point of it. But this also has a flip side and one that might be a bit counterintuitive to initially hear for some of you. As long as they are based on the text, there are no wrong interpretations. I disagree. I disagree heavily. 
uh, because <clears throat> depending on how somebody interprets something, it could be 100% inaccurate to whatever it is. And the examples? Um, uh, my interpretation of... I'd have to actually think about something. My interpretation... Uh, yeah, I'd have to actually think about it. But I feel like if... There, there could be something so glaringly problematic with your interpretation that I don't see how it could have any type of credibility. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing. I'm not saying that, you know, Joe Schmo just with an interpretation is just like, no, you're wrong. But just like something so egregiously incorrect. That's the only thing. And it's just a definitive statement and that's my only issue with it. For the most part, there are no wrong. Meme says Dritz. Yes, okay. Yeah, he interprets so many things. Yeah, that's a, that's a good one. <laughs> Dritz is wrong. <laughs> By its very definition, an interpretation of something in literature and fiction can never be straight up wrong. Is there a definition of interpretation in literature? Why are you doing that? Uh, interpretation. The act of explaining the meaning of something. So just explaining what you believe is an interpretation. Mm -hmm. Or even the meaning of something. The act or result of explaining or interpreting something the way something is explained or understood. Um, the act or result of interpreting... Uh, a particular adaptation or version of a work method or style, teaching technique that explores factual with stimulating explanatory uh, information. Yeah, from what I'm seeing, that you could absolutely be wrong with interpretation. Um, no, some I just saw. Never is a strong word. Yeah, never. It's it, it's never. Very, there are no. Yeah, don't 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 say never because if you get one thing, you're completely disproven and then you're just like well whoops why did I get points off in an English paper for the wrong interpretation hey that teacher just just did not accept your interpretation their interpretation of what you interpreted was wrong you're you're right but they interpreted it wrong and so F <laughs> repeat the sixth grade please as it is only the presentation of a possible meaning and approach, not... No, possible, explaining the meaning behind it. ...a definitive description and judgment. So if your claim is arguable and based on the text, it is a valid interpretation and you can go wild with it. If you want to say that One Piece is actually a metaphor for ancient British rights or Victorian politics, or the ancient blood god of the Mayans, or maybe about Chilean government policies, then go for it. As long as you show us where in the text this interpretation is supported, you're good to go. Pause. And you and you have not said how many times you need to support that thing. Because um, there are crosses in One Piece. So you'd be like, uh, Jesus. Jesus is a heavy theme of Jesus, forgiveness, all this. Christianity is a heavy theme in one piece. I can give you three things. You got Mihawk's cross, uh, people praying in, in Skypea. So there's clearly a God. And as we all know, God, Lord God, Jesus is a one true God. And that's, uh, that's cool. You can, oh, then, uh, also they thought Brooke was Satan. So there yeah. speaks to a and Christian there, and God. And there's also nuns. So... Hey, Christianity, is that the theme of Christianity? Is that correct? Based upon my interpretation, if you're just going go for it. There's a Bible. There's a, absolutely a Bible. Kuma got a Bible. And you're just going go for it so long as you can support it. But then what in, What about once you get comments where like, you're a, an idiot. <laughs> Ancient Mayan gods based they upon move, three things. Then they link this video and go, there are no wrong interpretations. Watch this video to see how. However, as you can oh, surely guess from my score. pretty... <laughs> Dude. It's always... It's just... It's just we get them. <laughs> no matter what. Every catch is a theme. 
cast out a line. <laughs> it's gonna come back with a theme. That's all it is. With this dude. <laughs> There's so many themes in that boat. <laughs> There's so many themes in this video. I did not sign up for a 12-minute video about themes. Hey, I didn't want a 12-minute video about this themes. This is not what I wanted. I thought he'd be like, oh, characters and stuff like that. World building. Plot. The the three Ps. Four, four circles. This is, yeah, that's where it should have came in. <laughs> That's what I thought this was going to be. Not just a theme video. Berserk is about sword. <laughs> <laughs> this is Evangelion all over again. Everybody interpreted it this way and now they're wrong. <laughs> they're, oh boy. Yeah, they were what, proven wrong. Yeah, what happens when interpretations just get proven wrong? When, when later media just sort of invalidates what happened previous. Do you just go, oh, whoops, I guess my interpretation was wrong? Your, your but interpretation, there are no wrong interpretations. Your interpretation is not wrong Jesus. at the moment. Oh, my goodness. Fairy tale is like overcoming extreme odds with friendship. Yep, and that's what makes it good. You you got yourself a theme in fairy tale. Fairy tale is good. That's your interpretation. Everything is great with interpretations and themes, and now everybody is correct and right, and everything is good in the world. Dummy, we didn't get clickbaited. We got <laughs> okie doke. Oh, that's a big difference. <laughs> we got we we were setting out for one thing, and then hey, guess what? That log pole's pointed to something else. <laughs> now we're on Sword Island. <laughs> we wanted to go to Doctor Island. <laughs> we open we opened the door. That said analysis and entered the house of things. <laughs> and it's just like we didn't oh even no, we realize. switched the door. <laughs> That's not a clickbait. That's an okie doke. We are not supposed to be here. We are not. This we are not in be. the wrong location. And we got four more minutes of being themed at. Ridiculous example. Why should I care about your theme of Mayan blood sacrifices if there's a more supported theme? How many themes can there be? There can be infinite, infinite. themes, but there's supposed to be one central theme that connects everything, or everything connects to, or the most reason reasoned one. Fairy tale is absolutely terrible, Silver, but it is so watchable. <laughs> it's one of the best terrible things out there. Surely, guess from my pretty ridiculous example, there is a caveat to this. After all, there has to be some measure as to what interpretations are worth pursuing and elaborating on and which are just not very likely. So, the not likely ones are wrong. Or more than likely or less wrong. correct. But, but, okay, if you go ancient Mayan gods and Christianity, and somebody goes, I got three for ancient Mayan gods, and somebody goes, I got four for Christianity, and then you reread and go, okay, I got five for ancient Mayan gods. Does yours become more correct because you looked for more things and connected more things? Like, oh, this dude said something that I didn't realize, so now my interpretation outweighs yours because I have more things to point to. <sighs> Shut up, Silver. <laughs> We're on a losing streak. <laughs> Shut up, Silver. <laughs> Because if no, we silver, talk, silver's uh, a, 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 a go, trying for a no, whole new viewer request. That's month. what I'm saying. That's, we can't be doing that. That's the only thing. Because if we stop picking it, y'all got to pick nope, it. Nope. No, sir. And then uh -uh. we're just in viewer request year. Mm -mm. Y'all ain't earned it. <laughs> well, while interpretations can never well, be. This also, is a tutorial also, on how to make your and share your own hand cannons. But I will say this was a loser. This oh, was a loser. Oh, yes, this was a failure. I'll say that. All right. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Silver's not wrong, but the end was wrong. <laughs> I, you, I, I got to be honest. You had me in the beginning. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, while interpretations can never be wrong, they can be unconvincing. So if you convince somebody of your interpretation of a thing and then it's proven incorrect later by either a piece of media that you uh, did not uh, absorb correctly or didn't think about or uh, through future uh, information by the author, is it now wrong? Or or is it just, what, what, what is it? And also, 
unconvincing interpretations. What about if it's just your own interpretation? You're not sharing it with anybody. What if you're just like, I want to learn how to analyze media and there is a theme of ancient Mayan gods in one piece. And you don't share it with anybody. It, it, what does it matter if it's unconvincing to somebody else? If an incorrect interpretation convinces everybody, is it correct? There's a um, there's a theory called the Great Replacement Theory. Uh, there's a lot of data and stuff that they pick and choose and lie about. But do their interpretation, it looks like it's something that could actually be a thing. But they're proving they're, they're proving wrong by other data. So their interpretation of the fact is not correct. We got it right now with vaccines. Their interpretation is that it causes swollen balls or this other bullshit. <laughs> That's your interpretation of what these things do based on what you read and it's wrong. That's your interpretation of the facts presented and it's wrong. This is a 12 minute video? Absolutely. And we got four minutes left. Yes, you can interpret My Hero Academia as glorifying abuse because of that one gag scene where Bakugo, a prodigy, gets boomed in the head by his mom. Or how about Bakugo going, Deku, kill yourself, I'm your bully forever, and now they're supposed to be besties. We glorified Bakugo because he was strong. Yeah. And he's constantly number one in the character poll. Pretty strong. So, hey, maybe... Maybe there is some glorification of abuse. But in the face of the many, many more prominent instances of the series looking at abuse as the cause for hardship and misery, this interpretation just seems kind of cherry-picked and limited and thus unconvincing. No! WRONG! No, unconvincing. What you described was somebody that Cherry picked an example where they're wrong because of all the other things that are there. But he doesn't want to say that, so he says unconvincing. And how is he, your interpretation he, based on one thing? He's saying that it is technically correct because you can put you can put the string together and put it put the pieces together, but it's not convincing because there's other things that support uh, abuse being a bad thing. So it's not wrong, it's just unconvincing. No, it's wrong! Because there's not enough evidence versus the opposite, where there's a lot of evidence saying abuse is bad. So, if somebody goes, uh, vaccines cause uh, infertility, and then all these people go, <laughs> no, it doesn't, was, th was what you said <laughs> unconvincing or incorrect? <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> Then let me know. <laughs> uh, uh, Silver, my hero has gotten unbelievably awful. Unbelievably. Uh, going into worst manga territory. It's probably the worst yes. running manga at the moment. Outside uh, big of manga. Fire Force? I'm not caught up in Fire Force. Let's say that. I'm 40 chapters behind in Fire Force. Uh, spoilers for this this chapter that just recently happened. Official coming out tomorrow. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Standing in the middle of a forest, loudly yelling your child's backstory, who had been there for the entire time, loudly yelling. Because you, if you look at how far Invisible Girl is from the parents, she is very far. Shopper just eating the theme fish. It's just funny to me. Yeah, uh, it was awful. But they're just loudly yelling. And it's like, you, you, it, you, we did this for this reason, child. Do you not remember when you were born without a quirk? We have and to we tell you this every time. Because every time you come up here all sad about it. And then he's crying like, I did these bad things. And here's the list of bad things that I did and how I feel about them. This dude storytelling is so poor. He looked so sad over the last three months. You lying. You lying. We didn't see any of that. You can't just say somebody looks sad and not show us seeing him look sad. He been sad ever since the hospital and Deku got back. We seen like three panels of him. Um, I think it was Raul in the Discord was just like, of the 120 chapters that had just been passed, he's only been in like 30 of them. Panels! Unbelievable. It's terrible. 
Uh, I like Diyama, but his reveal could have been much better. Absolutely. It's been, it's, he's speed running to the end. So he just has to have not only that fake out, which was horrible, he has to have somebody yelling the entire backstory and motivations within earshot of the only person that they literally could not see. Even though they had gloves and, and everything. And then there, she's within walking distance of the school. So as they're still yelling out their backstory and motivation, she goes to get Deku, explains the situation, and Deku comes back while still hearing about them yelling about him being the traitor. It's so bad. This is child writing. <laughs> And then she ran back and told everybody. But no. Deku was there first. She told only the most important person that that directly is affected by this. Not I, not Tail Dude, not Sugar Rush, not not in um Eraser Head. Deku the main character. Uh, so it's we'll, horrible. We'll, we'll talk more about these things in the f- a. It's horrible. We're almost done with this video. Is my hero worse than Naruto? Yes. <sighs> yes. Stars and stripes alone. It, I I don't I don't think of I can't think of anything in Naruto before, that pissed me off that much. Before the speed running, it, it, uh, cut it off at the hospital. Even like halfway into the edgy Deku stuff, I would say no. I would say up until the mansion explosion, I would go around pretty that time. much no. But now I'm I'm leaning more towards yeah, cause just just the fake out of last chapter, and then some people are just like, oh, but what if she is also a traitor? You go, okay, so why is she in her mind going? You haven't been smiling. What's going on? And she's surprised that he's a traitor. It's it's like in Heavy Rain where the where the um. Where the killer's just thinking the wrong things to mislead us. Yes. This so if you want to do that as well, that's poor writing still. This isn't a My Hero video. You, you just can't get us wound up about that. <laughs> I love how they made that his parents being held hostage is a part of it. So we can feel sympathy rather than him just being a selfish view. Exactly. It's not just, yo, hey, I'm evil. We, I'm doing this for... This shut up. Video? You shut up. We, it's not just that I'm evil and I'm doing this for myself and I'm doing this for whatever reason. Like, um, like the traitor in One Piece. It's not, it's not like that. It is, hey, there is a reason for us to be doing this. And you can be saved by me just going, hey, stop that. Unless you got a bomb in you, which apparently he could just have, have a bomb with, within people and just remote detonate it the moment they're about to turn good. Because that's a thing that happened. So, my hero, correct? That's it. <laughs> um... There was one a while ago that was, I think it was me, and that said, if we hit a K, are we going to do another video? The funny thing is, we had another video prepped, uh, another super short video, in case I've, we didn't have enough time. I thought this video wasn't going to be, I thought he was just going to be like, hey, characters and stuff, and we'd be like, yeah, I guess, whatever, sure, whatever, negative oh, seven. Oh, honest. That's what I thought it would be. Oh, I thought it would honest. be maybe a three to four minute section on theme. And the rest would be like, hey, here's how you how you talk about a character. Let me give an, give an example of these two characters and how would I talk about these characters? Well, I would say that this character, blah, blah, I thought he would be doing that. And we would just be sitting here just going, yeah, whatever, whatever. Yeah, that was an interesting perspective on that. I didn't expect this. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a present. And then you open it up and it's just a boxing glove. And you just get swacked in the face it's like... But why? <laughs> I'll just say, uh, the second we learned we were doing this video over the other two we were thinking about, I walked out of his room like, yep, we've got our video prepped. And then he was just like, I'm just concerned that maybe it won't be the whole hey, thing. Hey, hey, that's, that's the theme. It's the theme of incorrectness. Yep, that's what your theme is. Yep, sure. No, Dad! Stop! <laughs> Dad, that is exactly what Dr. Island looks like! <laughs> that is exactly what Whoa, Dr. that's Island play. looks like. That, that's what, that's what Driss wants. That's what I want, personally. <laughs> Due to that, 
it becomes a less dominant approach. So while you can never be wrong in your interpretation, you can definitely fail to convince. Also, all this only applies in a- But wouldn't you say that's wrong? If you go, I got this example and it's- And somebody goes, ah, you haven't convinced me because of all this other stuff. Or would they go, you're wrong because of all this other stuff. You are not correct in what you said because of everything else. Yeah. You picked one thing. He doesn't want to say wrong. That's all interpretations that use the information in the text correctly. Obviously, if your interpretation is based on a lack of understanding of the text, it's basically as if it wasn't based on the text at all and therefore useless. Yeah, but you you saw that and you saw that they glorified it by making a joke out of it. So you would go, they're glorifying child abuse and then someone else would go in that scene maybe, but as an overall thing, you're wrong nope, because you're, it's not convincing. Not wrong. We're not using that word here. I'm only reading One. My Hero just because the amount of time I put into it to see how it ends now. That's how I felt about Naruto back in the day. It's just like, this is a sunk cost fallacy. I can't I can't just stop. I'm already in here. I'm being too deep. <laughs> and I understand that mentality, but I am also of the camp of, it gets to a point where it's so bad, I'm just going to drop it till it finishes. And then I'll marathon it. That one, one chapter at a time, this, this slot, who wants this? Who's applauding this? I'm so happy people to, in Reddit are going, yo, are we, can we talk about my hero? I'm so glad that the turn is happening. Can we just talk about it? People Where's are... Dragon Ball's turn? You're not digging oatmeal and granola and gas and, and good guy Bardock? And Ultra Ego? It looks terrible. Hey, Black Cat. <laughs> Leave. Leave. It's imploding. <laughs> it's, it, dude, it is crazy the amount of people just going, oh, man. It, has it always been like this? <laughs> or is it just now that he's beat running to the end? Because that's what he's doing. He's just like, oh, uh, uh, what do I need to wrap up? Oh, the in uh, trader. Here she is. Psych. What was that at the end? Oh, uh... Adonius, you you don't know about good guy Bardock who saved people? we are just like, hey, nobody's over here because I don't want to destroy these people. And then he fed them and helped them. And then they came back and was just like, oh, you're a Saiyan? Well, kill these people. And then he turned on those people to protect the original people, which one was a Namekian, who happened to be the antagonist of the story so far until the Namekian came and went, no, they saved us. And that's his son. You didn't know about this? Doesn't this sound great? It's terrible. Oh, Tokyo Revengers is ending fantastic. I, I dropped that off because I'm just like, boy, they are spinning their wheels and I am not oh, for man. it. Oh, man. No, it's, it's good. But it's just like, so, you know, the kid can go back and forth through time, basically, uh, by doing a certain thing. And it's just like, uh, okay, I prevented that. So now it's this. Oh no, she's still dead, and now this person's super bad. So now I gotta go back and find out why they turned super bad and prevent that. All right, I saved everything. Oh wait, no, now I'm super bad. I gotta go back in time and see what happened there, and she's still dead. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> no matter what she did. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate he's he's rushing it this much. I don't know if he wants to wrap up my hero or he wants to wrap up. Uh, the the time between Deku getting back and the, what he wanted the final arc to be. Mm -hmm. One final thing we should mention is authorial intent. How do you know except for interviews... That's your interpretation. ...what the authorial intent is? Unless they outright state it, how can you tell what it is? When interpreting, it is valuable to ask yourself whether or not you want to consider the author's life, social context, and just general oh, person. So now you could just choose whether or not to. You could just choose to yeah. do so. I can. I. I. I'm just gonna ignore what the author is trying to say and just say what he's trying to say in my own words. That's what I'm doing. When constructing an interpretation of their work, 
You might already have an opinion on this that seems obvious to you, but this is actually a very hotly debated issue in literary so Shit the WHAT?! WHAT?! It, it must be the little brother. It's the only person I can think of. Or Mikey. It's, it's gotta be one of those two. Those are only two people. That, oh, Jesus Christ! This is trash. <laughs> what a trash series. Have you used the word critique, criticize, wow. criticism, or criticize? Wow. I don't think in this entire thing about analysis, he's used any of those wow. words. Wow. That's incredible. Circles. On one hand, a human being wrote this work, and therefore, they inevitably included ideas and concepts relevant to them and their own persona, consciously or unconsciously. Therefore, it'd be valuable to consider who they are, how and where and when they live or live. Pause. No, it no. doesn't. I, I'm read not their researching story. a mother to figure out exactly how it ties into this story. Oh, they, they wrote this when they were 24 and they were going through a, a, a depression. And a, No, what is your story? Is it good to me? Why is it good to me? These are the things I care about. Do I like it? Fugo stayed behind because uh, Rocky was in a dark place and he didn't want them to fight and and all that stuff. So he left um, Fugo behind. I don't I don't need to know that because I know that Fugo is a very smart and rational guy. It makes sense for the character to stay behind. <laughs> Y'all are really putting off these last four minutes. <laughs> We could play it at two times speed and just ex get none of it. <laughs> I, I'm fine with that. We got the video at this point. <laughs> and how all of that might have influenced their work in an attempt to pin down what the intention of the story might have been. How it might have been interpretation still, and you could be wrong. Because the author could go, no, that wasn't my intention at all. Oh, I guess I was just unconvincing in my argument to the author. Instead of just going, no, I was wrong. Revisited time works differently from actual video time. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> Ever, on the other hand, does the intent of a story really matter? Isn't the beauty of literature, the endless variety of meaning that can be found through the myriad of different possible readings and interpretations made Disgusting. by many, many different readers? Wouldn't a focus on authorial intent imply the existence of one completely correct interpretation which would make all other approaches- As opposed to the half correct interpretation of yourself. Half correct, half unconvincing. Sorry. I, I can't take this. <laughs> I can't take it. I'm so sick of him. <laughs> you know, I always go, ah, Oceanus, I, mean, I respect no. him. And then we do a video and it's just like, this dude is a literal bum. It's pointless. These are the central questions posed by a school of thought called Death of the Author, coined by Roland Barthes in his essay of the same name. Of we course! Are, we're not citing people anymore. We can't do it after that Batman. We can't, <laughs> we can't be citing people. Hey, what does it mean? Batman, what does it all mean? It was so good. It's it's stuck in it's my mind. It's so good. Every now and again, legitimately. I don't think a day has gone by where I'm not <laughs> going. What does it mean? Legitimately. It is ter I wish for it to be gone above all else. <laughs> Microchip in there that they push at least once a day that just goes forces you to go. What does it mean, Batman? What is it? It's dude. It's so good. <laughs> so what about when J.K. Rowling comes out and says that wizard shot <laughs> when wizard uh, shot on the shit on the ground and teleport them yeah. away? She said that before uh, plumbing, they just pooped and then just teleported them away. Are we wrong, all wrong for saying that's dumb because she said it's truth many years later? It's, I, I, I think it's okay to say that J.K. Rowling is wrong. <laughs> I think that's where we are as a as a community. But yeah, something like that. Y'all curse like, me with that song. <laughs> 
You know what? You cursed us with that Jujutsu Kaisen video. How oh, about whoops. that? Whoops. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to die. <laughs> In simple terms, Death of the Author seeks to completely remove the author from any and all interpretations, because according to this concept, writing only becomes truly complete once it achieves a multiplicity of meaning, a presence of multiple possible readings. This multiplicity is not found in the text's own existence by itself, but is infused and created by the many readers and their thoughts. Which also means that a central part of literature would be crippled if the author's intentions were given relevance. So, hey, who gives a sh what's going on with the author? Who gives a sh about the author? It's just what I want. Yeah. I, I don't care about what you what you said, author. I don't care, I don't care. about your I don't intent, it. author. I, don't I want, want my interpretation. This book needs to be complete, and it can only be complete by many people interpreting it many different ways. Sorry, Arthur. But it's about classism. No, it's not. <laughs> That's not my interpretation, and I can't be wrong. Uh, what do you think of the manga Red Hood Hunting Guild? Um, it's a good question. I will look that up a little bit later. And I never saw his Undead Unlock video. I'm nearly done with Lord of the Rings. One movie left. I've never seen any of the Lord never of the Rings Never seen movie. a second. Never read a sentence. I want to. To at least know. Because it's, it's a very popular thing. And people say that it's like peak fiction. Not peak fiction. Peak like uh, medieval fantasy type of thing. But that's the thing. I'm realizing that I really hate medieval fantasy. You didn't like the Black Knight? No. Starring Martin Lawrence? No, I think you need to rewatch that. That was a joke. No, but I think... I, think, I don't need to rewatch I that. We, it wasn't good back then. See, the thing is, I wonder if all... A the, Knight's Tale is a really good movie, though. What's A Knight's Tale? Um, it's just about a knight trying to do some stuff, trying okay. to make his way in the world. It's, um, it's just it sounds story. familiar, but... Yeah. Um, I think it's about jousting. Yeah. I can't, I can't exactly remember, but I just remember liking it. Maybe I need to rewatch it. Maybe it's actually not good. Maybe I need to change my interpretation. I'm yeah. not wrong. <laughs> if nobody's wrong. Uh, Jay, I'm not watching Arcane. At least no time soon. What's Arcane? Oh, that the, the uh, League of Legends. That's the League of Legends thing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not watching that. I mean, if Jay says it's mad, that we could get some videos out of it. You know but what? But then they might be like, hey, it ties into this character's backstory yeah. and then we don't know it. Which is a lot of the... What hey, people say. hey, it is a reference to their uh, C2 attack. It's like, I don't know what the f*** that means. <laughs> it's got, you got so many different things on screen. How can people understand this? Dude, I, I, I cannot do MOBAs. I think I just need to download and play a MOBA. And maybe just after once like in the end, get it in your mind, like okay, this is what I should be looking. At. Yeah, maybe after a year, an hour or two, I, I will at least absorb enough information. That says a Night's Tale is a good movie or fun movie. Fun, uh, movie. fun and good is different. Christmas uh, movie, no? Uh, I think it might be, but it's pretty all right. <laughs> animation is good. Yeah, that, I've, I've seen some animation of it. I'm like, yeah, this is some good stuff. And that's all. Urban Thus. fantasy to medieval fantasy? Absolutely. I, I'm just tired of medieval stuff because I think Isekai has really ruined it for me because mm -hmm. most Isekais are just like, I'm transported to a, a old world, but it's medieval stuff. And it's like... Blacksmiths, like, horses and carriages. Yeah, I'm just like... Ugh. Transport to another world that's in the future. I'll rock with that. Mm -hmm. Relevance. Thus... This birth of the critical reader who completes a work by reading and analyzing necessitates the figurative death of the author. As I said in the beginning, there is no one central approach, so you will have to decide for yourself how much you want to care about the author of a work. Death of the Zero. author has become a very prominent school of thought, however, both at institutes and universities, but also in the public perception regarding people like J.K. Rowling, hey. whose works definitely profit from being detached from their creator. But at the end of the day... Hey, uh, I wonder how many people actually read that. Read what? Death of the author. Oh, um, very few people, I'm assuming, but it is, um, you, you got what you need by going death of the author and, and explaining exactly what death of the author is and you're done. The meaning behind it yeah. and all that. You don't need to, you don't need to read it. Oh, a medieval, uh, Sky where medieval people are brought into the future. That'd be good. I like how Black Cat just says, play Pokemon Unite, and then Leo just goes, don't play Pokemon Unite. <laughs> <laughs> As I said.
that I can really not prescribe you anything. It is your choice and you have to think for yourself here. And that's basically it. A pause real quick. To reiterate. I don't think you're tired of it. I think you're tired of it being done poorly and not well. I, I was sick of superhero movies, really, and then I hate most of them. I'm, I hate how bad most of them are. Yeah, that I, could be what it is. I feel like that because there are some medieval things I really do like, like uh, uh, Miss Knight has never been treated like a lady or whatever that one was called. I really like that story. Uh, but it's more about the characters as opposed to the, the world, world and stuff. Yeah. But I do feel like most isekais are just like, you could do 80% of the description of it. And it would be mostly the same. Such and such, what man or woman was a blah blah. Then they were killed and transported to another world where uh, it's medieval and there. So they'll be overpowered or a slime or a spider or something. Yes, the spider one exists. Right? I simply cannot give you all the answers because I'm just a dude with a channel. But I do hope that this video gave you- Yes, I did get the story you said, Jay. Um, I need to talk to you. Because I was thinking um, uh, around Christmas time, maybe New Year's time, we do a fan stream where uh, a lot of their works that they have sent us and stuff like uh, Triton's document, Jay's story. I could talk a little bit about Jay's story. Uh, maybe a quick, smaller meme video that he sent, stuff like that. And we open it up to a lot of Q&A, mm -hmm. uh, some of our favorite moments from the year, and then um, it just peace yeah, out. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, that sounds good. So, yeah, it, it, Jay, uh, whenever we decide to do that giant fan stream, that's when I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about your story. But I did receive it. Give you some ideas as to how to go about your own interpretations. Read a lot, think a lot, discuss a lot, and I'm sure you'll do fine. As you gain that should have been the entire thing. Yeah. Once you read and discuss and analyze, you start learning more and more about it. Once you reach a certain age, you should be able to critically think about how what media is and how why is something good and why is something bad and why do you like it. I, I, it, it, it comes, like you said, with reading more. Because once I started realizing that Dragon Ball sucked, it was really around the time where I started reading and watching more stuff. I'm like... This is doing a lot more and better than Dragon Ball. It's, it's just what that is. It comes with age. And uh, consuming more. Yeah, I, I got... Uh, I think it was like up to 121 pages. I'd have to look at it again. But I'm pretty sure I got most, if not all, of it. More experience, you also become better and faster at finding... There's a vending machine Isakaya Light novel? Hey, sure. Sure, you got, hey, we're running out of ideas. You got to catch them. So you just go, hey, this one's a spider. This one's a vending machine. You got to catch them real fast. Uh, I I have the Devil's a Part-Timer downloaded, but I don't know if it's an Isekai. It might just be a, I want to live in that world, so I'm going there, as opposed to a, I've been transported to another world. If you world. don't press play and end this video. <laughs> gain more experience, you also become better and faster at finding the elements and ideas you care about. Trust me, I believe in you, you can do it. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and healthy and wash your hands and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye and thank you. Terrible video, Terrible. negative TM. Yep, absolutely. Terrible video. Don't just theme at us. That's not the beginning and the end of analyzing of course anime not. or media. Of course not, it was also the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a terrible video. Dude. Hey, at least I don't have to go out and find, like, hey, theme video. We got it. It's here. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Yep. Iron Camel, why do you give this individual money? Stop. Well, why does anybody? Oh, oh boy. I just, I just don't like themes. And this is not what I signed up for. I wish if you had put in the comments. Ooh, comments. No, no comments. No comments. 
I sent this video. This is pinned by Oceanus. I sent this video. Oh, yeah, video, no, no, no. I saw that one. I sent this video to one of my old English teachers because it's a wonderful breakdown on how to analyze. And she responded saying that she may start showing it in her classes when discussing and not. <clears throat> now, I'm almost certain that teacher went, now listen to this. <laughs> so, this ain't it. <laughs> here's a couple ways that we can interpret this. Um, that is 100% true. Uh, that's 100% true, and the teacher will not do it. She was just trying to be nice. Play Kate. Um, that is 50% true, where he <laughs> sent it out, and he did not get a response. <clears throat> or it is not true at all, where he just didn't even send it, and he's just trying to big Oceanus up by going, You're, my old English teacher was going to send it to... It got titties on the screen. What is this? Ah, uh, but... <laughs> And then you, you, with our old English teachers going like, ah, fate in JoJo's. They're not going to understand that. I ask again, which is worse, theme monsters, hype beasts, or synopsis men? Holy crap. Um. Okay. Theme uh, monsters. Oh, synopsis, uh, synopsis man. man. Yeah, synopsis, synopsis man. because there's nothing that we can get from it. It's just, it's all just over there. It's it's a Wikipedia page. I didn't need to watch this video. You not say anything, and what you are saying is like eighty twenty analysis. It's pretty much basically eighty twenty because I did the I did the timestamps for for in uh, DBZ and Ram. Yeah, it'd probably be synopsis man. A synopsis, synopsis man, man theme, theme monster, hype, beast, hype beast. in that order. Because at least hype beasts, you could be like, okay, they're excited to talk about this. The popular kind of. thing. Maybe not even excited, but they're excited to at least put out that energy out there. Like, I'm excited to talk about this to get your click or something like that. That's where I'm going with that. Yep. It's it's synopsis because it's so boring. I walk out if a teacher shows this. <laughs> the f- is this? Any questions? But I, I would put stupid people above um, the... The synopsis, man. Somebody like Couch Guy. Yeah, I, he's he's above all of them because he's just he's just disingenuous, dumb and wrong. Yes. stupid people like Bricky. Uh, oh God, that reminds me of how a professor show irate gamer video oh. part of her game design. Plan. Oh, that oh boy, <laughs> it's like a teacher wheeling in an old school, a uh, big old tube TV, and then popping on nostalgia critic. <laughs> like, hmm, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Um, this is really good. I often feel like many people don't analyze media as in depth as they could and often praise others for doing so and form their own opinion. How about a period? Screw you. Uh, uh, as a fan of your video, I think this video is great. Such a great explanation of analyzing writing as an easy English major. No, please no school, but you also did a fantastic job. Oh, this is this is just a lot of people going fantastic. Yeah, nah, no, no, no. Yeah, that's time. I had none of this. So, uh, homework. We got homework. 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 Um, weeks and weeks ago, we were asked uh, our top ten moments from um, revisited, uh, revisited view request month. And that's there. I have it in no particular order Same. except for number one. Uh, yeah, let's. How many do you have? Do you have 11 actually? I have two. I have four. I have six, 10, that 13, three, six, eight, 10, 12. I have 12. Okay, let's uh name off your. Two of your non number ones. Okay. We'll save your number one for last. And then we'll just go one at a time. So, um I have three from Bricky. Uh six minutes and thirty six seconds. It's me yelling. Mm-hmm. I that is a moment that I'm just like Oh, is it the time hope out one? Yes it is. Yeah, that's my That's that's what it is. It, I put part one, it's part it's part one me yelling time hope out. I laugh very hard when I just go time hope out. <laughs> That's a very funny thing. Uh, I don't know what you... It, it, time them! <laughs> uh, same part, part one. Um, eight minutes in, I go... Uh, no, it's part two. 
uh, trying to figure out what part five, uh, what do you like about part five? And I go, uh, what did you spec into? Where did your skill points go? Because it didn't go into vocabulary. It wasn't humor and it wasn't charisma. And I was like, that's, that was mean, but that's that was funny. Mine. <laughs> and um, um, a minute, uh, one hour, 27 minutes into part two, the Bricky Waffles discussion. Did not do that one. I love that. <laughs> It's just like it's just a funny, just dumb waffle discussion. It's just like you don't you don't tell them off to just you don't pop some all the ingredients in front of them. You just give them the box and make waffles. Bricky can't make waffles. We're asking him to make waffles and he can't even do that. That was that's where that was. Uh, so we'll go me then you man. yeah, because your number one would be the last again in no particular order. Uh, uh, the death video that I made. That was Love a good it. one. Also, um, a caveat: I did not listen to the questions, and I only have one debt picture because it would have been full of it. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even include debt pictures. I period. have one. Period. It is my favorite. Period. I had to narrow it down to my favorite. Uh, the Jujitsu Kaisen Part One, fifty minutes and twenty-seven seconds in. That could have been a subtitle for Mother's Basement video. I wish you would have explained this. <laughs> I thought about putting that. I in. love that lie so much. That could have been the subtitle of his whole channel. I wish you would have explained that. Love it. <laughs> um, uh, Basement Order. No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> The second it comes on there, you just go, no, I don't want to do that. I, that I, I wanted to put that, but I did. But that was very funny. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Part 2, 35 minutes in, calling out Alex. I got that on there, too. In particular, me just going, eesh. <laughs> That's the part that kills me. But the calling out Alex, that was a very funny thing. Uh, one Triton uh, uh, link to recently. Uh, hey, what's that demon's name? You mother... <laughs> Because it's so funny because I think in part one, we talk about it where it's just like uh, uh, Mother's Basement was like all these memorable people. And I was like, I just watched this. Mm -hmm. I don't remember their name. And they even call up and go, hey, blank and blank die. And I couldn't. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, it's just like, hey, uh, what was that demon name? He just said it. And Gavin just like, I can only imagine DA slowly turning <laughs> towards you, which is what happened. <laughs> You mother, I don't know why, you mother, it's my favorite moment to this day is Superman at the supermarket. Yeah, that was Yeah, great. that was really good. You mother, you Superman, you got better shit to do. Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen Part 2, 41 minutes and 10 seconds, the curse of discussion. Of course, that's on my Cla it's, it's classic. It's classic, I'm sorry, I, we don't. We don't usually say stuff like that. That is a classic moment. That is a moment. very, that's one of the moments I've listened to the most. It is a very funny, just tangent. How we got there. Yes. How, and then at the end, it's just like, we got to go back to this. <laughs> uh, uh, I already said it, your Alex thing. Um, I don't know why, but I love this so much. Uh, it's from the One Piece rant. He's talking about how One Piece characters don't have normal proportions, and we're going, uh, my hero doesn't have normal proportions. What are you talking about? And uh, you go, Froppy is a frog. And I say, yeah, a normal frog. <laughs> I don't know why, but that line, That was a good one. Uh, yeah, a normal frog. Uh, this one isn't funny. But in the whole Cake Island Part 2, 17 minutes in, where we discovered that Luffy, um, Nami, and Sanji's colors all match each other. Oh, that's cool. And that was just like, that's a really good, like, connective moment. I just, I just really like that moment. Uh, funny enough, also from the Mark thing, uh, the One Piece one, uh, me ranting about him and just screaming is the angriest I've potentially mm -hmm. gotten in it, and I just love listening to it. Uh, part 2. Um, 19 minutes in, you no selling my love of Amande. <laughs> I start rev because her hat was poking in. I go, look at, look at the hat. <laughs> you just go, all right. <laughs> I go off for like in a minute talking about Amande. You say, all right. <laughs> that was just funny to me. Uh, I think I hit everything I could because it was mostly the same. Mm -hmm. uh, Demon's name, Bricky Rant, Mark Rant. Oh, happy to be here. Happy to be here. It's like, yep. I didn't want to put that in there because it's an obvious one. It, but 
it, it permeated the entire channel comment section. Yeah. Uh, and it's still and it's still going it. on. It's crazy it, how that just happened. It can't be anything. It can't you know, be stopped. It can't be stopped. Um, so, uh, JoJo's Part 2, three minutes in, we talk about Encyclopedia Brown. And that was a funny wow, discussion. Wow, yeah, that was so good. And then, in particular, I could just go, hey, commenter, shut up. <laughs> And then we're talking about, oh, this is what we do. If you came into this part, you'd have missed all of our backstory and how we figure out how to get here. Um, um, in uh, ha- my favorite, my favorite debt drawing of your request month is um, coming in at the Naruto, the One Piece rent, um, two hours and one minute in, where debt just the Hat Man picture. I love the hat man picture. Just, <laughs> just all the hands in the hat. I love it. I love it so much. It's so great. Um, my number one, and it it I, I listened to it like ten times. It's a it's a really dumb line. A whole cake island part three. We talk about uh, when Mark is talking about um, how it's already out there and all that stuff. And um, I go, well, I can't just um, I can't just uh, go into the Oscars. And go to review that, and you just leave out all of the all of the categories, and you and you go. It's printed now. What's up? You fired. <laughs> and I don't know why. But it's printed. Now. What's up? You fired. I listened to that like ten times, dying every single time. Oh, that was it. That so, comes in at an hour 14. There we go. I might need to listen to that shit again. It was hilarious. Uh, Legitimately hilarious. Oh, we can actually bring this up. Oh, uh, let's let's get some uh, debt picks up here. Yeah, do that, do that. Uh, in the meantime... It was actually very hard dude, to try to pick up. It was and, one and of the I, hardest. I'm not a big fan of sucking my own penis. Because, you know... I mean, we're just two bombs, and I, I particularly think that we are very funny. But I don't, I, you know. Hey, what? What? Is, oh no! Oh, he's melting them. <laughs> Get him, spray man. <laughs> but I don't, I don't particularly like just like, hey, talk about how great you guys are. I'm like, ah, yeah, that's that's not that's not my that's not my bag. I, and I also don't like to hear it from the comments either. So it's just like nothing good. Don't don't talk about anything good from this channel. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I remember every um every one million would just came into the discourse of like you guys helped me out in, in in slow days at my job, and I really appreciate. It. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> hey, good on you, man. But don't, 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 we don't, we this, this, this ain't that type of channel. <laughs> Look at him go. That's that's what this is all about. The spray bottle hero. You you know when this dude comes stomping up with his one big hand and his spray bottle. It's go time. He's not afraid of melting you, I guess. <laughs> it's like, oh, Dobby, I got something for you. Whoosh, whoosh. That would actually be incredible. <laughs> yeah, too bad Horikoshi is a coward. And a pussy. <laughs> Man, that spray bottle dude is... It's a problem that he exists. <laughs> I can't get over them. Yeah, we're about to hit a uh, thousand soon, Jay. But uh, them emotes are gonna be tremendous. I hope we get in because I think it's like a I can't remember if it's three months or six months. You could try again, mm-hmm. but I hope we get in because I want them in emotes. Yeah. And thanks for the shout out in your communities tab. We saw that constantly. You don't need to do that. <laughs> we're not worth it. That's the thing, dude. So many people. Shout us out and link us, and I'm just like, yeah, don't hey, do cool. It. Don't do that though. Yeah, <laughs> this is you. You got it. It's yours. The people will come if they want. <laughs> Hori sucks. Absolutely, he's been going way. I don't understand the drop. It's been such a big drop. Look at him fishing for them themes. I'm not a big enough hat, personally, but you know, <laughs> we can rectify that at another date. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. I, I'm I'm sorry, but just spray bottle man is just he's just sending me to the moon. <laughs> I can't take this. <laughs> he he shouldn't exist. <laughs> we make good videos 
Sometimes, Jet. <laughs> At times. <laughs> Last couple months, not our best. Hey, hey, Phil was a banger. But Sorry. We're getting back there. Look at him. He's just a normal dude. I hate how Spray Bottle Man F and Isaac. What, what was his name? Isaac. Oh, yeah, that other dude. I'll look up One Piece Isaac. Because they're, they're just the channel mascots. Isaac something junior. Moon Isaac Jr. Oh, yeah. That was great. The biggest hero. What's the theme of our channel? Shut up. <sighs> Mediocrity? <laughs> um, Doing what we want, when we want, whatever. Shut up. Uh, Maybe... Exposure? No. No. We need something that connects... Explanation. Explanation. Their lack of explanation or over explanation. Perfect. Perfect. There's no reason why that sh a, a, a twelve minute video should have been two hours. Um, Isaac yes. Moon Jr. Absolutely, it's a shame. I apologize. You gotta gotta throw a couple pennies to the to the well oh, keep, next time. Keep sending them, Jay, because I've been reading manga like nobody's business. It's almost disgusting. Uh. The, Let's get to some questions. Uh, how about that Mark Spider-Man video? Uh, ooh, that's not happening. Ooh, <laughs> that's not happening. No, thank you. What about people who hype up Subversion? Ooh, the Subversion people. But that's more than a Hunter Hunter cap. Yeah. And they're they're their own little they're their own little thing. Uh. What about the fools that didn't watch it? They're up there. You got your Bricky. You got your Couch Man. Those two. Those, those two are in the idiots, Caps. <laughs> uh, funny enough, the irate g uh, gamer video she showed was about the history of the Magnavox Odyssey. Same video was heavily criticized for being inaccurate by the creator of the console. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, this, this video wrong. Can't wait. Here's, here's a great video to show you guys. It taught in college. I uh, know it's wrong. Uh, can't wait for the dick riders of the A-list crew. Oh, we'll never have them. We don't need them. Yeah, I'd prefer not to have them. Call us out if we're wrong or stupid or something. Yeah, we've gotten into a bunch of times in the comments. Yeah, in the, in the Batman comments, a couple people were just like, hey, um... They're, he actually has helped people before, and I was okay. He's like, oh, cool, cool, cool. I'll check out those those episodes. Uh, but he just he just showcased a very bad clip. Okay. Uh, I'm talking about... Um, yeah, the, yeah, I know. The, that, 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 what does it mean, dude? <laughs> what does it mean? Uh, when we revisit, when can we revisit a Seth video? Just remember, you guys saying I think we have it. like three of them on the list. We definitely have the okay. I don't know. Um, Seth and um, Swag Kage blend together in my mind, mm -hmm. so I know that we definitely have the Moro video on there. We have the Boruto video on there where they talk about uh, Boruto, and there's one other, so we will get to them. Um, looks like we might be, cause you know, Geekdom's a pretty big dude and we didn't get any pushback yet. So we, 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 we cool, we cool. Yep. We, we're going to get to them. Um, there's no structure to picking revisited stuff, Period. unfortunately. There Unless, is a structure. Hey, what do you want to do? Uh, here's the list. How, what are you feeling? Oh, that looks pretty good. Cool. See ya. <laughs> that, that's it, unfortunately. We're, uh... There is that's that's what we got. Oh, uh, the other video we would have done is Carrot over Ace, uh, One Piece top one hundred. Right? Yeah, I think it's JD Legends, who who was that? Mm -hmm. who, who was that dude? And he was just ranting about how Carrot got over Ace. It's about a five minute video because I thought that we this wouldn't carry us to a little over what an hour. I'm fool. like, I'm, I want to give the people because we haven't done like a a stream proper mm -hmm. in about uh three weeks to a month. Yeah, somewhere around there. So I'm like, except let's give, Dritz. Let's give the people, you know, a little more. But this 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 took us. So. <laughs> Whoops. I guess I underestimated us. If you guys were transported to another world, would you guys like to be either a skeleton who has a bunch of overpowered NPC guardians, undead armies, etc., or a slime who can eat anything and will be God? Um I I leader of the skeletons. Cause that's <laughs> You know, you you you're you're noticeable. 
as a slime, am I sentient? Like, can I talk? Do uh, I have once? That is, um, I, I got transported in yeah, slime. Yeah. That's what that is. So, yeah, that's you, you're cool. I'd rather be in charge of an army. Though, with that comes the the threat of somebody usurping me and just going, this must, it's a literal skeleton. Push him down. He'll break apart. We sweep him in a dustpan. We throw him away. <laughs> Don't throw me in the trash. <laughs> I'd probably rather be a skeleton. I'd, yeah. I'd like to walk around and stuff. As I'd, I'd rather be a leader. Crawling on the dirt or whatever. Yeah. We send in mangas. Oh, perfect. Pour the milk. Are y'all doing another Persona video? Absolutely, if we can find... Oh, you yeah, know what? No, we got a couple Persona videos. We got a Persona 4 video. Uh, we got like two or three Persona 4 videos. We got a Persona 3 video. And I think we got one Persona 5 video, which is somebody disliking Haru. I think we might also have another Persona 5 video. I'm not entirely sure about that. But we do have Persona stuff down in the pipeline. We just want to play the games again. Just so we can remember them properly. Because it's been like years since he's played 4. I just got done playing 4 when it came to PC. Um, and I was like year and a half ago, maybe that I played that. Mm -hmm. So just want to get all of our facts right. And just like, did that happen? Or when did that happen? Or, um, yeah, that's, that's not good. Just sitting there and looking stuff up. I'd rather have that knowledge and bam, 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 shoot it out. That's always better. Uh, my favorite moment of the day. Oh, I already did. I, I, I tell you. The going back to the revisit is funniest moment is just like this is good. This is it's good, good stuff, good stuff, dude. It's, it's Q funny Pizza stuff. is fantastic. I'm sorry. I'll go back and listen. I'll just laugh <laughs> to just normal revisit episode. Like yeah, that was a good joke. Just suck my own penis. Like I hate to. I uh, part of me still expects you to start calling. My name is Death, the worst YouTuber you found after you watch this Neo the end world the world ends with you video. I've heard that's a really bad one. I've heard it. Uh, we're gonna get to it. Yeah, I just it, need to play Neo. Yeah, either him or Mike, our friend. He, he's going to play it. Um, whatever the case may be, I'm going to get to it because I absolutely love that video. Yeah, that not, might be that, another that video. That video game. I loved it. It was great. Not It's not super long either, so you could probably burn through it in a fairly amount, short amount of time. The best revisited thing for me is still the call upon the king of hell <laughs> for Naruto. He can call Yeah. <laughs> 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 the pain. <laughs> 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 just read it. I'm just like, wait a second. This is uber busted. And, and Sasuke's just not doing it. And then Kishimoto and whoever's writing and drawing, it was just like, oh no, he has a bunch of abilities that we don't really showcase. Uh, just stab his eye out. Just, <laughs> just do it. I don't know. Whatever. They're both nerfed. Sure. Also, DA losing his mind from the board. So because reason. You gotta, you gotta give me a timestamp because I was going nuts on that one. <laughs> uh, imagine walking out of your eight-hour shift and see Superman throw your car to supervillain only to miss. <laughs> like, hey, <laughs> dude, that's why I'm just like, it would be horrible to live in a super, just like a an Avengers world where you just look out the window and it's just like, oh, there's Hulk. That's why. Oh, there goes my car. There was a um a TV show that got canceled after a season where it was just like. Wasn't it like the cleanup crew or something? No, like not even the cleanup crew. It was a bunch of office workers that were just in the world of superheroes, of the Avengers and Marvel and them. I, it, it'd be horrible. It's like, what is? what do you do for insurance? Because it's clear that the Hulk stepped on you. It's like, okay, look. Yeah, is there a specific insurance just like superhero? Like, oh, you live in Wisconsin. You're not going to get too much yeah. villainy. But if you live in New York... Hey, you know, sometimes somebody, Iron Man might pew or... Yeah. Uh, and then you got to worry about, like, getting robbed and... Hey, Spider-Man, and then he web, and you're like, uh, it's just going to be sitting there. It's gonna, It dissolves in an hour, but it's still... Just... I got to wait an hour. <laughs> it's just sitting there. Chill out. <laughs> uh, do you have the same taste in media? Um, for the most part, but we are, we differ a lot on quite a few things. Um, not a whole lot, but um, it's usually if he likes something, I'll like it, and, I, and vice versa. He is very negative on the Harry Potter series. Well, I it's am big. I am middling, leading towards good, and we have a couple Harry Potter videos that we want to get to, just so we can discuss it more than anything. Mm -hmm. 
and there's especially like part four and um part uh, book number five and six there's a video just like book number five is the worst and book number six is the best and that's literally the opposite of my of my thoughts because book six is horrible so we'll we'll talk about Harry Potter one of these days. That's that's the biggest one I'm thinking. I mean, we differ on cats. Cats. You need to listen to cats again because it's got some banger okay, songs. Okay, I don't deny that there's good songs in there. Okay, so that's but they're but horrible. No, um, anthropomorphic okay, monsters. Okay, that's fine. But it's not 80, fine. That's no, the okay, problem. Okay. But eighty percent of the, mu- the the movie is songs. Yeah. So you go, yeah, these songs are good. And then once you watch it a couple times, I, I've watched cats. Okay, but that's no like lo- saying eighty percent of the pizza is pizza, <laughs> but the other twenty percent, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a black bean paste. It's like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? No, no. <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess. I guess I was about to say <laughs> it's like a, a pizza with eight slices, but only one of them got the black bean paste. Like, no, that, that's not a good analogy. <laughs> but I've watched Cats no less than twenty times. I don't doubt and it. There's only one. There's just like I'll just be sitting there just watching, grooving, and then all of a sudden it's just like, wow, this looks really bad. And then I'll continue on, just go. It's always just one time in the movie when I'm watching it. Other than that, I'm it's just like, same time. Cool. no, it's always different times. <laughs> Don't you think that's messed up? That you got 20 different instances no, of being but, snapped out of your this is hype yeah, so but stupor. if I go back to the other times, it doesn't bother me. Because I'm just, it's like, hey, whatever. It's always just new times. And then the old times, it's just like, eh, hey, whatever. It doesn't bother me anymore. It's always just one time that super bothers me. Reboot the ALX is my number one. Did DA get an Armande hat? Reboot the AMX. Reboot it. That was a good one. Uh, did D.A. get an Armande hat replica for his birthday? Absolutely not. Don't, oh, I will don't even it. look it. I will love don't it. Don't even look for it. Uh, there is nobody that can make a hat big enough, and I don't know yes, where I would put it. You know, they would, they can, they absolutely can. I just don't know where I would put it. You'd probably hang it on I, the I'd back hang of your it door. Up, but then it's just like, yeah, that's my big hat. That's, I mean, isn't that just figures? Hey, that's my carrot figure. Yeah, and then I just sit there and just wear it. That hey, there's my, kind of hype. there's my just, keyblade. That's a conversation starter. Just like, why do you have a big hat? It's like, well, there's a character in One Piece that has a big hat. Well, I guess that's not a conversation starter. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's it, the entire conversation, I guess. It started it. <laughs> okay, but why did you get it? <laughs> A Monday hat. This maybe do like a maybe do like a male a Monday cosplay. Are yeah. Monday cosplays? Hang on. Oh, somebody yeah. had to. Cause somebody there are people out there like me that are just like, yo, that's a really I good I think you find smoothie before you find our Monday. Uh the spray bottle hero will save us all. He's the hero we need but don't deserve. Absolutely. Uh, if we're doing questions, what do you that like? That is a- not a big enough hat. That is a super big hat. Get in here! That's what I need. They know what's up. Look at this tiny hat. Who needs this? Look at these tiny hat bastards. You're going to do what you do it right. Give me that big old hat. You look up a mod day cosplayers. There are exactly two. And one of them has a really big hat. And one of them has a tiny hat. The tiny hat one, she looks good, but the big hat is where, I, that's where, that's where it's at. That's where the money is. Yep. If we're doing questions, what do you like about Kingdom Memories battle system? It's the best battle system of all the Kingdom Hearts. The, the intricacy of building a deck and uh, adding to the numbers as well as the zero in case they get a big old. <laughs> A new picture is coming on stream. <laughs> but yeah, the battle system. The battle system is really good. Um, it's like nothing else that I've ever played. And that's not a me going, hey, it's unique, so it's good. That's me going, 
you gotta really think about exactly what you're doing in battle. And yeah, it's a it it's keeps one of the more engaging ones because regular Kingdom Hearts, you can kind of button mash until the thing that needs to happen happens that yeah. you need to do something different with. But even rank and file enemies, you need to pay attention to exactly what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like hearing y'all critiques fun to listen to. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it's, it's fun to do. That's that's the thing. Yeah. Um, like we said, once it stops being fun, that's when we're done. Yeah. Or at least a break. And it's not even about, hey, it's fun to do it with you guys. Because we were doing it just by ourselves. For years. Yeah. And um, the first live stream that we did, I'm like, man, nobody's going to come. It's just going to be us. And, you know, we've done with, we've dealt with that for a long time. Then people showed up, I'm like, oh, crap. And then it was like, hey, that's fun with people as well. Yeah, but like our podcast, we've had one to three view- viewers for like years until recently. So we're used to like low numbers. We don't, yeah. I mean, we're still going to do them. <laughs> yeah, but like we said, this is this is a whole lot of fun. It's, t- it's fun to talk about media. It's fun to talk about creators, YouTubers, um, anime, all this stuff. It's, it's just a whole lot of fun to, to just do. And if people enjoy it, hey, that's great too. Got a got a popping Discord, but muffs like debt drawing, <laughs> muffs like <A> tri- monster. <laughs> you putting in all the numbers, so it's it's, it's, it's good, it's fun. And this was, uh, I never expected. We about to hit a thousand. Never expected that. I so, expected it, but nowhere near this soon, especially for the type of content we do. Yeah. Um, I thought we need to do way more edited videos by this point to get to a K. Um, the Sasuke. Mark retrieval video was rough. Oh, tell us about it. Uh, so this game, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, that was right after. Oh, Jay, I already have the story about the Yakuza and the detective with a stern face. That was right after uh, Dritz, and that was um, rough. that was Tangent City. <laughs> that was a real rough one. That was the start of the downfall. Yes, it was. Uh, did Boy. y'all finish? Yeah, we're done. What do y'all think of Naruto the Last? I never finished it. I oh never my it. goodness! Oh no, I I'm not watched any new Naruto video, new Naruto movies. That was one of the questions. Have you continued? Uh, I don't want to. Because <laughs> I heard about the new one, and I'm not the new one. The next one that I'm going to, I'm like, I don't want to. And then when I went over to uh to the Is other house know there? for. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't think he is. I think he's in a prison and he has to figure out how to get out. But I went over to the other house and I showed uh, Corey and Eric the, the certain scenes from the Naruto movies that I watched. Boy, their reactions were funny. <laughs> <laughs> I showed them all the new Rasengan's. I showed him Minato going, when certain natures of chakras combine, they, they combine and they make a super big Rasengan and and uh, just, just throw it. And, and, and I showed them that. And they're like, what the? And then it's just like, Tornado Rasengan. And they were like, what? I'm like, what's the difference between the Tornado Rasengan and the Nor Rasengan? Because I don't know. And the Wikipedia don't know. <laughs> it, it was very fun to do. Um, You know what? I could, because um, I'm doing, I don't know how many people exactly followed the storyline. But, um... Back, 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 way, way back for the Bricky, I went, hey, this is going to be the worst video that we're ever going to do, bar none. And then over on our podcast, I went, hey, if we ever surpass that video, um, I'll do a whole month of streaming because that's never going to be surpassed. And then it was surpassed by Coco Couch Guy in like four weeks. <laughs> Ridiculous. And so um, I'll be streaming four times this month. And the first episode, the first time is tomorrow. I don't know if it's going to be 5 or 6 Eastern time, but... Have I'll you already talked about Mark, uh, Mike seeing if he's streaming? Uh, no, I have not. I don't care. Okay. If he is, then I just won't do it. Or you'll do it on Let's Exist. Nope. That works. Cool. Nope. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's what that's going to be. And um, I don't know. I forget where I was going with that. Uh, what's your first game? Uh, Fall Guys. Fall Guys is my first game. It's... um. Oh, that's where I was going with it. I'm going, I'm, I'll probably watch a, a Naruto movie or two so I can have, so I can talk about it and, um, get my thoughts out really, really fast. That's where I was going with it. Mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll watch 
a non-tumble movie or two, and we'll have something to talk about with it would be for me that. Okay. That's uh, where I was going. Can you check out a video called F- Spider-Man 2 Far From Great? I'd love to see your thoughts on it. Is that the one from... Oh, no, it is. It's already on the list. Yeah, that's that's definitely on the list. That's from uh, Southpaw. Yep, yep, yep. That's on the list. Uh, let, let me just make sure. Spider-Man... Was that Spider-Man 2 Far From Great? No, not Far From Home. <laughs> they, we know what you want, sir. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Autofill. You're already here. Far From Great. Yep, Southpaw. Yep, that's absolutely on the list. We just have to figure out when exactly we, we're going to do it. But, yeah, I've heard that this one makes good arguments. I've heard that they made bad arguments. Um, Southpaw is a frequent guest on EFAP, so I know of him. And he has pretty good opinions. So, I want to see exactly what it is. Because going back all the way back to the Cosmo video, I went, I'm going to watch Spider the Spider-Man movies with a critical eye. And I couldn't really get anything. I'm not, I, I wasn't just like, oh, my goodness. A couple things, like, like I said, um... Doc Ock, he has Spider-Man's head in his tentacles, and he has tentacle blades. He's just psh, dead. Mm-hmm. It's stuff like that. But, yeah, it's a really good movie. So, yeah, that that is 100% on the list, and we get into it. Uh, your five favorite Straw Hats, I mean, uh, Pirate Seto Kai Yakumin Domo is a very good manga. I love it. I'm a big fan of Four Coma, and it's very funny. Okay. I, that's all it is. Yeah. It's, it's also, it's a, it's a lot of sexual jokes. Yep. But I love it. Uh, top five pirate crews in One Piece, not Straw Hats, and top five crewmates and underlings. Each one has to be from a different crew. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> we yeah. can do that. Uh, that's that's going on into our homework for next week. I'm just going to take a picture of that. <laughs> you know what? We could save all our homework for the giant fan stream. Could. Could. We'll, we'll see if that. we get any more. You know what? We might do that, and we might just do drips next week and just... Mm-hmm. We're out afterwards. Um, Done with that bad. It could be. Hang on. Let me check the dates. Mm-hmm. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, it works out very well. Um, Saturday is the first of the month. Uh, first of January is uh, on a Saturday. So we could do the big fan stream. And then we could also do everything great about or everything wrong with. Because the people want it. They do want it bad. And, so, that, and, that, know, is, and that is the new year. And that fits in with our Saturday thing. You know what we should do? Alright, so we'll do... We could do Drips next week. And then he's premiering it on the 18th. Which would be that Saturday. So, I am not watching part 6. I am not I tried, watching y'all. part 6. I tried, y'all. I'm not. I'm trying. Raul got one in the chamber. <laughs> Is that going to be it? We don't know. They've been teasing it. <laughs> they have not pulled the trigger. I'm waiting for it. Just to ban them. We're going to do it. <laughs> but you're going to get a ban. That's not a threat. That's not even a promise. That's simply what's going to happen. <laughs> it's just a fact of life. <laughs> so if that's the case, if that trigger gets pulled, the trigger gets pulled. But I will not be doing part six under my own power unless forced. Hey, guess what? In the future, viewer request month, it's out of there. Don't don't put it in there. I'm not doing it. You hear? Unless I'm forced to by a promise from Raul exclusively. Because, hey, guess what? If any further, we'll do a revisit it if we do this asterisk. No part six. <laughs> I'm a petty man. Try me. <laughs> uh, he already answered the Naruto one. Uh, Papa told me, okay. When you guys get to 1,000, can DA answer the Aqua Komi question? I will do that. There we go. Gotta get a bit hat uh, to pick videos out of. That would be fly! No, that would be that really would be good. That would be fly! That would be actually really good. I wonder how much it would cost to commit. Because it can't be a whole lot of material. You just stitch some... It's just a bigger hat. Yeah. Uh, Top 10 debt drawings? Ooh. Yeah, put that on some Ooh, that's, good. that's a hard one. That's a legit hard one. How you guys gonna... You know what? I'll tell you number one out the gate. Your newest one of me, the depressed one. 
out the gate. I love how the person on Facebook was like, yo, are you okay? <laughs> okay, so Dad, I changed that to my Facebook picture. And one of my friends was like, you doing all right, homie? I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> this looks really bad if you don't know what's going on. <laughs> It's all out of just, context. It looks it's like you you ain't gonna take yourself out, are you? You we're, 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 you gonna be around for a while? I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's a joke. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's probably number one. I'll say that. There's there's been some other ones. Mm-hmm. Kaido, small car, Kaido. That's, That's so in the good. running. We don't do battle, but first. <laughs> That's in the running. Uh, so yeah, that's some homework. Uh, how are you guys going to spend your Christmas? The same way we spend every other day. I don't care about holidays. Same. I'll probably go over to the family's house because that's what you're supposed to do. But that's it. I don't care, man. I, like I said, I had a birthday four days ago. You ain't did. <laughs> ain't I, I didn't do anything. I don't even remember what I did. I, I, I went, okay, I went I went to Taco Bell because I like Taco Bell. What you would have told me? I could have... It's my birthday. I'm not... In, Getting you Taco Bell? I mean, you already there. <laughs> you, you go, you go walk up to Taco Bell. I think I will. Um, they ain't do nothing. It don't matter. It's just days. People need to chill out. Um, skeleton all the way. Do either of y'all play Guilty Gear Strive? I'm waiting for um more. Uh, I'm waiting for the season pass to go on, um, sale, and then I'll buy it. Um. I played a little bit of it. I, I like it, but I don't I don't like it because it's not it doesn't feel like Guilty Gear to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you need to hit that P4 video. Oh, we will. Don't worry. Yeah, about that's it. that's going to be there. I just need to re- replay it. It looks really bad. I saw a little bit snippet of it and people rumbling in the chat. I'm not in the chat in the discord. I'm like, yep, this is this is going to be a good one because P4 is solid. Uh, someone disliking Haru blasphemy. I think a lot of it was. They didn't get enough screen time. Yeah, that's what that was. And it was just like, it was a shut up. Out of it. It's I'm inaccessible. I'm still surprised by how much Jet is recommending. Uh, <laughs> that, that oh, is, I have Kaiju number eight. That's uh, a lot of stuff. It's it's inaccessible for Mark's video. Uh, DBZ versus One Piece is still great. Still one of my favorites. We can't access it. It's inaccessible. It's inaccessible. It's too much. Uh, oh, I meant D.A. losing his mind because of the hell thing. It was the same thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Piccolo X Boma, you hold the radar to my heart. <laughs> That's a good one. I love that one. It's a really good one. Uh, um, Try out the audiobook of Way of the Kings. If you don't like it, then you won't like Brandon Sanderson. Oh, that was the dude from Will Time that they were just like, okay. Because I did ask them to recommend me some audiobooks from I was about to ask period. you, because um, they did recommend those um, fantasy novels. Yeah, Have you yeah. read any of them? Mm, no read, no no listen to them. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do that for the fan thing, since they asked for it. Uh, you're Superman doing small things to help bit. <laughs> Let me led to me asking my dad if he would accept car repairs from Superman. My bat and my dad said he would ask him to call Batman because Batman drives, Super doesn't. Makes a lot of that sense. Makes a whole lot of sense. But you know what? Lois drives, and I think Superman would know how to change a tire. Plus, he 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 grew up on a tractor. He does drive. He he used all them tractors sometimes. I would not want to hurt Superman's feelings. He's too nice of a guy. She's like, hey, I'm here to help fix your car. Could you call Batman, please? Oh. And he's just like, oh, 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 okay. I can, I, I'm very handy. I can. I mean, I, I, we don't need Batman. I can do it. Yeah. No, I would, I would prefer Batman. Yeah, I, I would feel very. But then I also would feel bad for him doing it. Just, so it's a no win. Just lifting it up just like. Rit, 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 just <laughs> slowly wrenching and. Oh, your oil's a little low. <laughs> Thanks, Superman. Oh, let, me, let me go get you some. No, no, no. I've got some. I, I Please, mean, no. In the time it took you to say no, I could have gotten the oil and been back already. See, so. it's, it's a no-win situation, <laughs> unfortunately. Any interest in Dragon Ball The Breakers? 0.3% interest in Dragon Ball The Breakers. Um, if, if it is... If it is on like a PlayStation Plus where I can get it for absolutely free, play it for a game or two, that is it. I want to see, because Cell is pretty obvious how he evolved. I want to see what the mechanics is for Boo and Frieza. 
Um, outside of that, no. It is no. Uh, like I said before, I think I said this on a podcast. Um, it's not. It's unfortunate that Dragon Ball is in a hole because of Dragon Ball the Breakers. Because I, my biggest complaint about Dragon Ball games for the longest time was it's always Raditz to Boo fighting, blah, flying, why, blah, blah, blah. That's always what it is. Then they do something different, but it's not good. So it's unfortunate that they're doing something different, but it's not. They're doing good. what you ask for, but yes. in a poor way. Yes. So. That's 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 very William. much a monkey's paw thing. Yeah. Um, could you give criticisms with book six of Harry Potter? Because I don't remember much other than Eddie. Uh, the biggest issue is Harry just going, "Wow, I really do like Guinea." Yep. Where is where no, romance stuff in general? Yeah, the romance course. stuff was very Ron, Hermione, and Lavender, Harry, G- Guinea. Like, uh, I uh, like the Slughorn stuff. Um, the luck potion breaks. So much of the world, but that's also a problem with the time turners in part three. Uh, it's it's kind of brushing over coerced sex, which is rape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it's interesting seeing Voldemort's backstory, but the biggest issue is just the 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 romance stuff. That's what's the prevailing stuff because that's all that Ron and Hermione are doing. So that's that's out of there, and uh, it also presents. How do you create spells? Because the book had a bunch of spells that Snape created. Mm -hmm. So what is the process of doing that? And then Harry doesn't even know what they do. He's just going to try them off against Malfoy. Mm -hmm. I just popped in my mind. Sectum Sempra. And then it's just, oh, it's a big old cut. Yeah. And how do you reverse it? By singing. Singing and like a stitching sort of thing. It's very odd. Terrible. There's a lot of things wrong with um, a boy that can't stop cross dressing. I remember that one. I think I downloaded that one. Uh, going back to him, my hero, what's the worst thing Hori could do? Bring back that would make you think it is without a job, doubt the worst thing in d- jump. <sighs> it, you know what? You know something? It's already happened. It's the Bakugo getting um, all for one. I mean, one for all for a certain amount of time in the second movie. I wanted to scream in the movie theater. It was <laughs> terrible. I hated it so much. Outside of that, because that was boss. Um, Muriel coming back and having his power taken again. That would be very bad. Um, I think that the double switch for the traitor would also do it for me. Um, I think if Toga came... And tried to join the heroes and they accepted her with very little question. That would be very bad. Yeah, it'd be like um, the Black Clover, the scientist girl. is just like, everybody's still just like, yeah. But, you know, they've already done a bunch of very bad things. Like, before, I'm just like, All hey, Might getting one for all back. Yeah, that would be bad. Or an equivalent power. Something that allows him to fight. Anything that lets him and Deku team up. But if you had asked me a year ago, I'd be like, oh, Mirio just showing up in the middle of a battle and doing nothing and then not being brought up again. But that happened. 100% happened. (laughs) So, it's a whole lot of stuff. Gentle coming back and, and leaning too far into the gentle stuff. Oh, Kaiser, you're way late. We're done. (laughs) What's up? (laughs) You're good, though. You don't need to watch this one. There's... Just keep going down this road of constantly bad chapters. Of just, hey, All Might going, hey, Deku, you need to sleep. You're you're tired. You smell bad. You're covered in mud. And and Deku going, I don't need you, even though you've had this power and you've dealt with all of this. And then all of his classmates and friends going, we're here for you. You need to sleep. You need to rest. And he's going, you're right. That's bad. Why didn't anybody tell me? (laughs) 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 You're all you're the only people that care about me. Uh, Which Comey characters would you buy as little chibi figures? Let's limit it to three. Comey, of course. Um, The dumb country girl. A uh, fire chick. Fire competitive chick. She's great. I 600 degrees. Six, you're burning hot. <laughs> what you do? 
when she just goes, let's have a fair fight, Colby. And she extends her hand and Colby just looks down and oh, she goes, you're cold after all. I love her so much, and she's only got like four or five chapters. I remember Comey was jogging one day, and then she was just there for a panel, just cheering her on. I was like, that's that's what I need. Those are my three. It would definitely be Comey. I would actually put Tadano in there. I really love me some Tadano. And, uh, 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 Tadano's little sister. You did, boy. I f- and love her. If I could get a set, I would get Comey's family. Does that count? Can I take away no, the Comey you can't one take away the and Comey. put Comey family? No, no. Because all of them I love are her. 10 stars. I love her mom so much. All of them. I was so worried I aged up to Forever 19. <laughs> the dad on the date with Tadano with the brother is you bad. so I, I beat him. <laughs> he did me fail. I guess you passed. It's the family is so great. Comey has too many good characters. It's not fair to everything else. Spider-Verse sequel trailer out now? Really? Oh, it's fine. Oh, it is. Chris just linked it. Okay. Okay, man. We'll be watching that after this. Uh, speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I'm stuck on 358 over 2. And I'm starting to understand why y'all don't like it too much. <laughs> It's a rough one. It is. It's just not. It's just not interesting to me because, like I said, I like maybe five people from the organization thirteen, and Roxas. I actively do not like him. Sheon's my girl. She's great. Uh, Axel, I don't know, whatever. I don't. I don't like their friendship. Friendship. Uh, the final part of everything great about Black Clover dropped today. That's some information. Okay, great. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Which is the dumbest Naruto movie because I want to check it out. <sighs> um, I would say, let me look up the names of them so I have them 100% correct. Because I have the one in my mind and I just want to make sure that I get that one and that one in particular. No other. Because I don't want you, I don't want anybody to mess up what I'm about to say here. Um, Bonds. Bonds is the worst movie. I gave Bonds an F. (laughs) I gave Naruto Shippuden the movie a D. I gave The Wheel of Fire a C. And I gave The Lost Tower a D. So, if you want an F-tier movie, go for The Bonds. Whoa. Because that is an F-tier movie. Because they that's the one that introduces the Dark Chakra. And they do nothing with it. Do not confuse it with Naruto Shippuden, the movie. The one that introduces Dark Medical Ninjutsu. Don't confuse the two. I can understand how you could. Don't do that. The Bonds is the worst one. Holla, holla back when you finished. <laughs> Throw it in a comment. Because there's there's a part that's horrific. <laughs> there's several parts that's horrific. Have y'all done the Noralities video? It's worse than Bricky. That's on the list. Uh, worse than Bricky is off the table, unfortunately. Those are, see, we've already got one that's worse than Bricky. But that's definitely on the list. The, um... The, the Isekai one, yeah. That's, okay. that's been recommended a couple times, and that's on the list. And we're definitely going to get to that one. What is the game list, DA? You announcing it or you just want to save it for um, surprise? Yeah, I can announce it. I got three of them. Of the four he needs. Of the four. Um, number one is going to be Fall Guys. My, my Here's my thought process. I don't want to do a narrative game because if I do a narrative game, I need to get through it all because I have, I'm have i a completionist and I don't want to just leave it hanging. So I don't want to do four streams of a, of a, um, of a narrative, game. narrative game. And I also don't want to do one stream and then have to go back to it because I don't want to stream. I don't oh, like streaming. But there's a narrative game where um, it's on a ship. You kill your husband and you are trying to cover up. Oh, I remember you talking yeah. about that. So you can you can lose the game instantly <laughs> but, um, by not being good. <laughs> so, so it's just going to be fun, short little game. Number one is going to be Fall Guys because I really like it. And the new season came out 
um, a couple days ago, and I haven't played it, so it's going to be fresh on stream. Number two is going to be a game called Shut Up and or Everybody Else. No, what is it called? Um, keep talking. Keep talking and nobody explodes. It's a game where you defuse a bomb. I'm going to be doing it with this guy. Yeah. And I also thought about it because you don't need the game to play it. All you need is to go on the website to download the manual. Mm -hmm. So um, if anybody, if any of the viewers want to play, we can play a couple games where I defuse the bomb and you try to tell me how to do it. It's a really fun game. Look it up if you haven't. And number three is going to be a game called Knockout City. It's a dodgeball game. It's three on three or four on four. It's a very fun game as well. Number four, I don't know. It doesn't have it yet. I got time. It might be a game recommended by the viewers. It might be a game. Uh, it might be one of the other three games I've already played. Might be nothing. Who knows? I might just have just lied and be like, hey, I don't want to do it. Sorry. Screw yourself. <laughs> what about a watch together group with one of the Shippuden movies for DA7? Ooh, that would be good. Ooh, that would be you really good. You could do it in a Discord. Oh, that would be really, really good. If y'all would accept that over a um, stream. gameplay stream, or even... I wonder if we could do that and then... Going to a Naruto game. Oh, there are a lot of them. Yeah. I, mean, I know Shinobi Strikers was like $6 at one point. <laughs> oh, yee, yee. I'll say that about that game. That's why. Um, Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. I like that. Maybe, 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 maybe. maybe. If you have read or seen Food Wars, is it any good? Yes, it is some good, but it's also some bad. It's a lot of bad as it goes on. Early on, it's really good, though. Uh, don't be uh, taken in by the anime's very etchiness. It's, it's absolutely etchy. Don't don't get it twisted. But the anime pumped it up. But uh, it's, it's worth a read. I'd say read about 20 chapters, and you'll basically get what you're going to get. And you can decide after that. What's wrong with part six of Harry Potter or... Uh, JoJo. Yeah. Uh, we can do both. Uh, part six. We already said about uh, yeah, Harry Potter. It's, it's just not a very, it's not a very good book. Sorry. Uh, part six of JoJo. A lot of people hate it. I don't know why. I actually don't really know why. It uh, gets they a little like wacky the near the end. The the end gets 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 goes places. Um, but it's got good fights, good characters. I don't I don't know what the issue is. I I hear, I hear a lot of people have an issue with dry, uh, dragging down the Foo Fighter fight. Why? I don't know. That's why I said I don't know. I don't know what the arguments is against part six. So. I mean, if I were to get time, I could point out some things. But off yeah. the top of my head, I like part six, so it's hard. Uh, oh, what's wrong with doing anime scenes, wins, or part six? He's a bum. It's this guy's favorite part. It's my favorite part. And it's going to be so much he, Auga. He doesn't deserve part six. I don't want to live in a world where I know for a fact that this person has watched part six. The video can exist, and as long as I don't click on it, I can have plausible deniability that it's just uh, 16 minutes of a blank screen, and he's never even saw it, seen it. That's what I, that's where I want to be. It's my favorite part. I don't want this man stinking it up. <laughs> as he has done time and time again. Oh, like you threatened me, DA, because you're a coward. I've done my job too well. Absolutely, you have, Dan. I, I ain't threatening anybody. I, which part Take of, me to court. <laughs> which P4 video is it? I've, I've seen the Lily. I've seen uh, some of the Lily. It's, it's really good, uh, Jet. Which P4 vid is it? Uh, there's three. Give me one second or one minute because the list is a chunky list. And it for sure exists. See, you should be able to search through uh, You playlists. think. You think. Get it together, YouTube. We're putting you on notice. <laughs> yeah, we need we need a formal apology or we're leaving your site. <laughs> <laughs> and then Phil talking about how he... Dude, I finally heard that I embarrassed Burger King so they stopped talking to me. Because they knew it was just going to be even more embarrassment. Like, you big up the Burger King? You you big man. Strong arm them. Oh, did you know Burger King is called something else in, like, uh, Australia? It's Jack in the Box. No, Not Hungry Jack. Hungry Jacks, that's what it is. I was like, what the f- Yeah. It's odd. Because they, they were like, uh, come get a Whopper. And I was like, okay, Burger King. And it was like, Hungry Jacks. Yeah, it's weird. It's a Crystal's White Castle thing. It's called Persona 4 in Critique by K-Bash. 
That's 51 minutes. Yeah, that's probably the big one we're going to do. Yeah. Uh, I was not grumbling. I was yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Persona 4 is a good game. Playing Persona 4 Golden at the moment, pretty good. Or pretty mm-hmm. fun. Are you guys I, SMT fans? Oh, yeah, yeah. I like Shin Megami Tensai. Uh, I, like I said, I'm playing 5, but it crashed, so I'm giving it some time there. Uh, what can Superman do to fix a car? Depends on what's wrong with the car. Yeah. I'm sure some, if, if somebody, you know, it's a wide open field and they're just... They're just broken down car and Superman flies by. He can do something. He can lift up the car and take it to the to to an. It can be shop. overheating and he can cool it down yeah. with his breath. All types of stuff. See, you don't understand, Superman. Superman throwing a car to disgruntled employee. Oh, oh, the Superman throwing a car of a disgruntled employee who stood up to their boss on their final day only to miss is the funniest <laughs> thing I can imagine. Just. <laughs> Wait, what? The Breakers is a Dead by uh, Daylight game. What's wrong with it so far? It just looks uninteresting. Yeah, it, it looks cheap, the biggest thing. It, it doesn't look polished. Yeah. That's all. And It I, looks I, like a $40 game. And I'm not a um, Dead by Daylight fan, so the the actual gameplay doesn't really interest me. But uh, for the people that does, go for it. But it just looks really, really not very good. Uh... Yeah. I platinum Dragon Ball Z Kakarot out of obligation because I wasted sixty dollars on it. How do you know feel about it? Because our little brother did the same, and he was dragging his feet on it. Did he, he was... ever finish The Last of Us Two? No, he stopped after it happened. Yes, I know that. And I he, he did was... not. It must be because he wasted his money. Yeah. Asked the friend like, "What happened?" And he went, "Oh, I'm definitely not." Going to <laughs> He know what's up. Uh, wait, uh, da, da, da. Uh, Muriel deserved one for all. Absolutely. But it would have killed him, so. <laughs> yeah, whoops. Who could have known? He'd have been major busted. Top seven should be Comey figures. We'll come back to that. That might be some homework. Uh, top seven. Ooh, I'll do that. Uh, uh, can, hey, call me family. Fine. How about that? <laughs> can we get a list of series that started off good but ended bad? Oh, there could be so many. Dragon Ball, Naruto, Bleach, Cage of Eaton, um, uh, Food Wars. Uh, yeah, there, I do. I, I could go for a long time on that. Um, there's got to be something that you did not mention. There's something on the tip of Yu my Yu Yu Hakusho. That's just the last arc. Yeah, it ended bad. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it did end bad. <laughs> oh, uh, Gamblefish? Yeah. You piece of garbage. Well, hey, was it good up until that point, you though? You piece of garbage. Was it good? That don't, that don't mean nothing. Yeah, I'd have to go through a list. but uh, Oh, dude, I had to stop reading. Uh, there's a series called... Go ahead. Part 8. Oh, yeah, Part 8. Oh, my God. Uh, there is a series called Real Account, and I read the manga up until chapter 40, and I went, I kind of don't want to read a single chapter more. Yep, I know the feeling. So I looked up what happened, and I went, my God, I dodged a bullet. Oh, it, thank goodness. Just like, woof. I won't spoil it in case anybody's watching it, but my God, I was like, I'm so happy I stopped when I did. Um, Blood Prison is... Blood Prison is the next one that I need to watch. Oh, dude, and they're talking about it. <laughs> so you know, yeah. you know it's going to go hard. Yeah. Uh, who's better, Nagito or Kokichi? Nagito. But that's more of a you question since they both spoiled Trials. Let's hear it. I like Nagato more. Hey! I laughed at a couple of his hey! things. Kokichi was just annoying. Hey! You remember liking Stone of the Galeo? Is that a Naruto movie? Something smells good. Is it behind the one where the dude goes second form uh, like yeah, a DBZ movie villain? That's pre uh, Shippuden. Um, that was one of the okay. The the preacher Putin auto movies are okay, and then they go into Poop Town. Um, what what was that one? Uh, isn't Bonds the movie where the guy goes Super Saiyan? Well, 
Yes, that is what happens because he was sucking the negative emotions out of a girl and converting that into dark chakra. And then he gained the power of the eight gates, including the gate of death. I keep saying that because that's what he said, as if it means something, because at that point, we don't know what the gate of death did. <laughs> uh, I remember the land of snow was pretty bad as well. Like I said, the pre ones, I don't, they are what they are. They are what they are. Uh, Monster Rancher, oh, go play that it. Was the, that was the first one. Monster uh, Rancher is, you know. Pirate Warriors 4. Pirate Aiden Warriors on. 4. Dang, I done, I done did almost everything. Almost every character is maxed out. It should be a showcase. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it is on Game Pass. Part 6 is good. Uh, the next episode of Demon Slayer Art is the beginning of the Entertainment District Art Thoughts. Bad. Bad. And it's a full hour. And I'm not looking forward to the people who are going to be bigging this up. That boy was trending today. And right under it was Jolene. I was like, how do we live in a world where both things are trending at the same time? Hey, guess what's trending right now? Dragon Ball. Fantastic. Good man, DA. If you don't watch it, it don't exist. Yup. It most certainly don't. It's over there, and anything could be happening behind that video screen. Why doesn't DA like Joseph Joestar, the better JoJo, in comparison to Jonathan? Part two, Joseph. I am a I'm a I'm a guy who likes very lame people. Um, our boy our boy Jonathan is a very straightforward head down. I'm a lame guy. I have a goal. I'm a I'm a earnest a very earnest guy. My biggest issue is I I think that there are other wacky, funny guys that are wackier and funnier than Joseph. Mm -hmm. I like subsequent jo Josephs better than part two Joseph. Uh, that, that's my thing. I like lame characters, straightforward like Jonathan, and I like other characters more than Joseph. Oh, the Persona 4 video, that's two hours. That's the one you need to hit. Oh, is it? I think that's in there as well. Let me see. It might be. I've seen people say JoJo has the weakest overall cast of characters. Really? I'd say part seven. Like, outside of the main two, who's really there? Part eight is kind of up there, too. Part four is scrunkest. Scrunkest. Part five is strong. Uh, Meme, could you link that in the Discord just to make sure I got the... Oh, uh, Persona 4, a bad, good game? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's in there as well. Uh, Alicia Exist was superb at the start, but not the worst. Thing I've ever seen. <laughs> you know what? That's acceptable. We we when we were young and starry eyed and Oceanus is the up. only ever ever negative ten. We just need to go put videos up against it, and we'll Oops. see. But I also that's gonna change for Jet once I finally answer Jet's question. <laughs> Uh, best villain in Naruto. Thoughts on the overall uh, villain cast? Best villain is probably Zabuza. I was going Oro. Oro's up there. Oro's fun. I, I I really like their voice as well. In in English and in Japanese. It's a horrible smoker voice. And it's just Steve Bloom. And it's not Steve Bloom doing a Steve Bloom. And that's what I like. Mm -hmm. You can still hear it, but it's like, yeah, you get on in there, Steve Bloom. I think the villains, for the most part, are strong in Naruto. It's just a lot of the stuff they do, I'm not a fan yeah. of. Gata, Kimimaru are are good. Um, Sasori. Hidon, Hidon. Hidon is my boy. Sasori, Hidon. I, um, I didn't like that. Donzo. Donzo was trash. Uh, pain, no. I, I can rock with some pain. Nah. Madara is trash. Madara, get that out of here. Obito, get him out of here. Jingaku, Kintaku, get him out of here. Yeah, maybe Dead like samurai, a, maybe suck like my ball. 6.57. Uh, what did we spoil? Uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've been... Maybe the Naruto movies? Maybe. Whatever it is, I apologize. A crying and Kokichi fan. Kokichi's trash. Go, go. I think it was... Your worst character or was the Nagito? It was one of them. I forget what that was. Uh, DA, I like lame guys. Takes one to no one. Absolutely. Bum. I, like I said that so many times before. I know a bum when I see one because I am a bum. I know a lame person when I see one because I am a lame person. I'm sorry. It is what it is. All right, last question because it's nine. Uh, will Dragon Ball ever get any better? 
At this point, I'd like for Goku and Vegeta to not come back to Earth and the Z Fire is on there got a fan for themselves and do fun stuff. I don't know, something. Yeah. Um, it won't get better until people expect more. Because if you keep clapping for this ultra ego stuff, if you keep clapping... And, and uh, Tournament of Power that they just got to do something. Yeah. Characters who can wish themselves to be strong, the strongest in the universe... Um, two set, just just a whole set of Dragon Ball that's never been mentioned on this off-world planet. Somebody else who can just gather them and become even stronger than that other person. If you don't expect more, if you don't ask for more, you won't get it. And 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 when you do get something different, like um, Dragon Ball Super Superheroes, people are lambasting it. People aren't. People are hype about seeing Gohan doing lame stuff, which is what I, if if that's yes. what it was, I'd be up in there, frame one. But people are going, yo, did you see that one frame of Broly? That's what people want, and that's what they're looking for. So I don't. Th- that's that's what the issue is. So so it will get better when people want it to be better. That's that's all. That's my biggest thing. Don't expect better. Don't get better. If you if you're clapping for alter ego, that's all you're ever gonna get. Because that's, why else would you want anything else? Why would they give you anything else if the bare minimum of new transformation is gonna satiate you? If what's the toys are come out, ing, the ing fur of Broly makes yes. people have them trending. They're gonna put out new toys. People are gonna buy them. They're gonna put out new DLC for the universe. People are gonna buy it. And they're going to be like, this is working. Why change anything? Uh, yep, and so we are out of uh, here. Really cool. I like cool characters because I'm a lame person. Yeah, it's the contrast. We t- we we heard we learned about differences here. Daydar was annoying, never stopped uh, talking about art. Yeah, Daydar's fine. Um, he's just a little punk. That's my biggest thing. Uh, so Geki fans rise. He's a good character. Uh, boom. <laughs> People are lambasting it because the movie looks like a video game cutscene. That too. The the animation also gets people triggered. Uh, stop coming to these. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. Yeah, I don't want to do the, these in particular anymore. This stuff is cancer to me. Kryptonite. Uh, Dritz next, next week. Like I said, tomorrow uh, for all guys. And Either on the, or the Twitch or the It'll probably yes, be on the Twitch. And yeah, uh, just go to Twitch. That's always been linked in the um in the doobly doo. Uh, yep. Dritz. We don't know what the next revisit is. Uh, yes, we, we do. Know. Part six. Everything great about. Shut up. We're getting what is it close. Everything wrong with. Oh no, it would be great about. That's yeah. what he does first, and then it's just gonna be so much auga. This is this is this this part is starting off well. Ding. Oh. Uh. That's what I don't want. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, once we get to a thousand, we want. I want to kind of do a stream where we talk about what emotes you guys want for the for the membership. Like I said, we're gonna keep it as low as possible. Should be a dollar, just so you guys can get emotes and spam them when we do live streams and stuff like that. So we'll probably do that. To figure out what you guys want. And uh, yeah, we are. Uh, we we want a bum one. And that's probably going to be one. That's going to be one, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen. Uh, why is everybody saying One Piece? <laughs> <laughs> Good know. question. Good question. Hey, guess what? Doesn't really matter. <laughs> Nothing matters. This don't matter. None of this matters. <laughs>